All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, today, our topic is very important, and you know, we heard in the media um, since the time of uh, even before George Bush the term where people they say Islamophobia or uh, Islamophobic. And phobia simply is somebody who is afraid of something is not exist. I mean, there is no risk, but still you are afraid. Obviously, you have a phobia. You know, in the last year, if we ask how many people lost their head because of Islam, nobody even can count. How many people have been burned alive? Nobody can count. How many people have been buried alive? Nobody can count. Yet, if you speak against Islam, you are Islamophobic. The hypocrisy of the of the media and the left media specifically is amazingly disgusting and stupid. Why we stand online for three hours before the airplane, before we can go in the plane? Is that because we have an Islamophobia or because you are afraid to death from terrorists? As long as there is no problem and Islam is not a problem, why people cannot go to the airplane? Since when we used to stand in line for two hours, isn't it after the attack of the Muslims in 9-11? Why people are stupid and hypocrites? We are the one who have a phobia. Stupidity these days is called intelligence. And foolishness is called open-minded. What open-minded? Okay, what about being open-minded and volunteer to go to Afghanistan where people do not know how to read and how to write? And let us see how long you can survive there. How long after you go to do charity huh, in Afghanistan what will happen to you? I mean, what they will do exactly to you? Choose one. They will behead you. If you are a woman, they will rape you and kidnap you and make you a sex slave. I mean, what is the options? Islamophobia? We are the one who have a phobia. If somebody write a book, the Muslims go by millions in the street, says, behead the one who insult the prophet. Uh, my friend, the, the the person you gave his name in the in the text, this guy is a kid. This guy, even he admitted that he's a prophet, have sex with the goat. Go and listen to my debate with him. He don't even have a, he don't have a penny. Anyway, maybe it is you. Can debate him. Uh, so everything the Muslims we speak about and the world speak about is proving them to be false. Who was the one have a phobia? Today we will speak about the phobia of Islam. Islam is a religion sick of phobia. Everything about Islam is based on in phobia. Let me introduce to you the enemy of Allah in the screen. Have you ever heard of a religion have an enemy to God and he is a puppy? Have you? Have you heard of a god? He is scared to death from a puppy. That is Allah. Let me introduce to you the enemy of Allah. I mean, look at him. He's scary. If I am Allah, to be honest with you, I will be scared and terrified. Even the angels of Allah could not get in the house of Muhammad. Would you debate with Ali Dawa? My friend, don't tell me debate Ali Dawa. I am here on air. Call me. You see all the names you, you name them. The Titan TV, they invited them to debate me and the potatoes, all of them, they back down. Go and check that video. Go, go, go. What Ali Dawa? This guy is a kid. He cannot even, he cannot even say two words about his book. 
Ali Dawa is a Dawa for you. For me, is a potato. Let him come. I am life. I mean, what's wrong with the Muslims? Can you debate this guy? Can you debate this guy? Can you debate this guy? Call me. Don't don't tell me can you debate? I don't care. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? We, we debated sheikhs from Al-Azhar, they could not answer us. Your God Himself cannot answer us. Don't tell me, please, somebody want to debate me just to bring him. It doesn't matter how big, how small. My my Skype is open. Call me. Your prophet himself cannot answer. I know what to say. Anyway, so guys, this is the enemy of Allah. This is the enemy of Allah. But the enemy of Allah go beyond go to racism and go to believe that you are a, a, a bad animal just because you have a color not only he hate dogs he hate dogs yes all dogs he hate yes but if you are a black dog you are a special enemy to allah Read with me carefully and don't tell me, please, this is a weak hadith. This is a very fat hadith. Have vitamin A and D and C. I mean, you know the Muslims, anything, anything will get their prophet busted. Right away they say to you, this is weak. The weak is you. Why puppies are the enemy of Allah? Good question. I will explain to you, my dear. The messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him. It doesn't say that in Arabic. It says, may Allah pray on him and salute him. Say it. When any one of you stand stands for a prayer and there is a thing before him equal to the back of the saddle that is covering him in the case of there is not before him and blah, 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 okay? His prayer would be cut off by passing off an ass, a woman and a black dog. Have you ever heard of such a religion like this? Ass, a woman, a black doe. So if I'm a Muslim right now and I am praying, I will be afraid that somebody will pass by from one of those three. A donkey, a woman, a black doe. This is the phobia of the prayer. Questions. Why the prayer to Allah will go, will go interrupt if an ass is walking by? What exactly the strength of Mr. Ass to the point he can destroy your prayer? A connection between Allah. What he will do? He will step in the phone line. So now I'm praying to Allah. Bismillah al-Hamani al-Lahim. I eat beef. I eat shish kebab. I mean, okay. Now a donkey go by. Why my prayer is not accepted? The phobia of donkeys. I mean, have you ever heard of a god? His phone and internet and connection with him will be disturbed by a donkey. And then the story continue. It's not only a donkey. <laughs> I wish it stopped there. No, no, no. Muhammad, he after he finished with the donkey, he go to the women. If a woman walk by, my prayer will be disturbed. Ah, because Muhammad, he knew that his believers, his followers, their eyes will fly and they will stop focusing on the prayer. Uh, you know, if you remember, if you remember, they asked Zakir Naik, and I think it's an Indian girl, she asked him, she said to him, why there is no prophet as a woman in Islam? Why all of them they are men? 
he said, and this is the answer of Zachary Naik. You can go and watch the video. Go and watch the video. Don't tell me I'm making things up. You can go right now, search in Amazon, I mean, in, in uh, uh, YouTube, why a Muslim woman cannot be a prophet, Dr. Zachary Naik, and you will see the video. Zachary Naik, he said, Brother Theta, the Theta, they ask a question. Why in Islam there is no woman here, the prophet? First of all, let me confirm to you in Islam there is no such a thing. We don't have a single woman here, the prophet. And there is a reason. The reason, if a woman she become a prophet, she have to read the prayer. If she read the prayer, she have to do do a salute. If she do salute, which means bowing down, all the Muslims will look at her as thank you very much. Like, what the heck? I mean, this is amazing. This guy, he get the answer. The reason she cannot be a prophet that she have to lead the prayer. If she lead the prayer, she have to bow, she, to bow down. If she bow down, the Muslim will jump on her. I mean, isn't it clear? And this is a sheikh. He is speaking in front of 30,000 people and the Muslim like, Allahu Akbar, wow. This is a great answer. I mean, look, look at the idiots. How in the, how in the world this guy, he is in TV. This is the reason she cannot lead a prayer because of her ass. May Allah ask you. So she is disqualified according to the Islam to be a prophet because she have a nice ass. Actually, there's a hadith. We can go there uh, about, about uh, a gay imam. He's a guy. This guy is a guy. You see here, the case is not about a girl. This guy is a is a is a guy, but he is a gay, and he is the imam. Let us see if we can get you the hadith. So this guy, he do. Uh, he is the imam who he lead the prayer. And the Muslims they came to the to the to the caliphate to complain that this guy is seducing them by his uh, you know by his bum, and they are feeling into temptation. They are what? No, no, let me find it. Here we go. Mashallah. I went to Uthman ibn Affan. Uthman ibn Affan is the caliphate, in case you don't, don't know, the caliphate of ISIS, which the Muslims, they killed him, and before they killed him, they tortured him, and they took the hair of his beard one by one, and they, sl they, they slide him in the ground, they cut his head, they refused to bury him with the, with the Muslims, they buried him with the Jews secretly. I mean, they, they really, he, he have a very horrible end. This is the, the caliphate of Allah. The one Muhammad, he promised him heaven. I went to Uthman ibn Affan while he was besieged and said to him, you are the chief of all the Muslims in general and see what has fallen befallen to you. We are led in the prayer, in the salat by a leader of fitna. What the, what fitna mean? Do you know guys what fitna mean? Fitna have many meaning, but here, you know, like when you say footing a rajul, footing, footing, which means like he get tempted by something so beautiful. Hmm? So obviously this guy, he have some amazing features and here they are speaking about his ass. Trials and affections. Look, look, look at the Muslim translation. They put it for you between two bracket. This guy he is the imam, the leader of the prayer, and he is causing trials and affliction? How? I want to know how. I want to know how. I will tell you how. This gay imam, he is wearing a short dress. And all day, they don't, they don't wear underwear. And he bowed down. And you know what I'm talking about. So the Muslims, 
They came to the pro to the prophet caliphate says, please, please do something. We are going crazy. This guy is making us so hot. Like what the heck? What a gay society. You see, they are saying he is the gay, but the fact they are. Because if they are not gays, why they are getting tempted? You know what I mean? You see, you see the hypocrites, they are claiming that he is the one, is the bad guy. But the fact, it is not. I mean, maybe he's a gay, but he's just being who he is. So why you are tempted if you are not a gay yourself? So they came to the Prophet Caliphate and they said to him, this guy is tempting us and he is causing trial and afflictions. <laughs> Oh boy, never bow down in the front of Muslims. Zakir Naik, he told us it is about women. Here, it's about men. Even a man, if he have a nice ass, the Muslims will be in trouble. I mean, isn't it obvious? MashaAllah. Here we see the phobia the phobia of the Muslims brother we have a phobia from beautiful ass of men can you do something about it and then the caliphate look like he is by the way if you have my book you will see that all this society is a society of geese how many of you have my book how many of you have my books did you read them did you see how many in the society of Muhammad how many geese from his family relatives all of all those names are relatives. This is a small tribe, you know. This is the, the tribe of Quraysh. It's like one family, all of them. All the family are gays. Now, Uthman said, the Salat, the prayer, is the best of all deeds. So when the people do good deed, do the same. Now, so he's saying to him, okay, this guy, the gay, he is doing good deeds. So do the same. What's your problem? So avoid those bad deeds. So he's saying to him, okay, he have a, he have a nice ass. Avoid it. Avoid it, my brother. As Zuhuri said, in our opinion, should not offer salat behind a feminine person unless there is no alternative <laughs> good one. <laughs> oh boy i mean it's amazing i don't know guys like youtube is a uh, is uh, any 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 word you are putting there it have like uh, some fishy words youtube is banning them i'm not i'm not the one who's banning them all right, just take a note. I don't know. For me, they are saying show, hide. I don't know. And I cannot do that. Uh, so here we see uh, like uh, another face of Islam where, I mean, they say to you to be a gay is haram. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. The sheikh who is praying on them is a gay. And the caliphate saying pray behind him. Still pray behind him. He is tempting them with his ass, which means obviously all the one and behind him as our our homo too. Now we go back to the topic about the phobia. The phobia of Muhammad is endless. So he said that the three things will interrupt the Muslim prayer an ass, a woman, and the black dog. We explain to you that the, the ass and we explain to you the women. Now let us go to the black dog. What is unique about this animal? He is black and he is a dog. There's two things. And when those two things meet together, will make that creature something else. I said, Oh, Abu Dhar. Abu Dhar is the narrator. What is feature is there in the black dog which distinguish it from the red dog? The guy is being curious like me. I mean, okay, 
How come the black dog? What about the red dog? What about a white dog? A yellow dog? Or a yellow dog? He said, Oh, the son of my brother, I ask the messenger of Allah, Allah pray on him and salute him. And uh, as you are asking me, which means the same question, and he said, The black dog is the devil. I mean, this is amazing. I never thought that the black dog is the devil, I was ignorant all my life. But after converting to Islam, the Prophet of Allah, he opened my eyes. Now I can see with X-ray vision. I'm seeing now, like now you are looking at a black dog and I am looking at black dog, at a black dog. So you see something, I don't, you don't see, like I don't see what you see and you will not see what I see. For very simple, I'm a Muslim. And when I'm a Muslim, when I see a black dog, I see shaitan. And this is very true. There is a scientist from Japan. His name, Yama I do lie Yama. I mean, check his name. His cousin is Mr. Suzuki. I mean, he's very well known. This is what the Muslims do when they make an article. They write for you names of some scientists. Some of them, they are not known. And some of them, they are known. Usually, the known one is the dead one. So they cannot sue them. The scientist, his name, Shushu Shushu Shamashima Yakakima from Japan, he said, it's in the true that the sperm of the man come from the backbone. What are you talking about? What backbone? The uh, scientist, he said that. The same as the guy, his name, uh, what his name? George Bernancho. Bernancho. The Muslims, they said that, do you want to know what George Bernancho said about Islam? Okay, what he said. And then they said, the, if the Prophet of Allah Muhammad was exist now, he can solve all the problems in the world when he's drinking five minute coffee in the morning. Okay, where we can find that? They give us a name of a book, it's not exist. Nobody can find the name of the book of George Bernard Shaw where he said that. But you can find this article everywhere in Islam, Muslims' website. I mean, this is so beautiful and so amazing. And I will not be surprised if 50 years from now the Muslim make article saying Job Steve, who is born from a Christian mother's parents, he's not born from them, he is adopted. Sorry, he's he is a he's a born of a Syrian father. Hmm? He converted to Islam. When when he converted to Islam, and I will not be surprised if he said that Allah guide me to make a Microsoft company. Unbelievable. True story. I will not be surprised if uh, uh, 10 years after my death, if they say Christian Prince, he converted to Islam the last second in his life to repent to Allah. Uh, guys, my heart, let me say Shahada before I die because I want to get the versions. I cannot. You see, the, the reason I'm convinced that Allah is God because he is the only one provide versions. And if you go with me to do shopping, my friend, you will see always I buy olive oil version. First time I saw the name version, I mean, it was, it was, my English is not really good. And I was wondering, like, what oil version mean? Huh? I mean, do they have sex with it or what? What? Why? Why the oil is version? Anyway, so I start buying oil version because I thought it's a version. <laughs> I didn't know. You know, I'm an Arab. We like virgins, what you can say. I mean, with it. and Allah, Allah the, the only God who will make your wife who you step with her already a million times virgin again each time you sleep with her. I mean, what? I mean, this is amazing, astonishing God. Are you kidding me? Each time I sleep with my wife, Allah will make her virgin. Yes, because Allah have a phobia of being non-virgin. Have you? This is a phobia, obviously. I just a step with her. Why you are making a version again? I mean, what the point? First of all, this is a cheating. I just have sex with her, and now you are making her version again. Why?
Now we go back to the black dog. Once I was talking to a Muslim about the black dog. He said to me, be honest. When you see a black dog, don't you feel disgusted? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Uh. Be honest with you, if he is big and his teeth is big, I will be worried about a bite. <laughs> but I am not disgusted. Uh. You know, a black dog. Let us let us introduce to you the real enemy of Allah. The black dog. Look at him. Look at this dog. Oof. Honestly, aren't you afraid? Who is a Muslim with us? Who is a Muslim with us? And he will say, yes, I believe that this dog is the devil. Any Muslim? I know I'm not going to forget about the lizard. Are you kidding me? One of you is asking me not to forget the lizard because in Islam, uh, the lizard is an enemy of Allah. We are going to count them one by one. I mean, do, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> Why this black dog is the devil? Why the white dog is not the devil? Why the yellow dog is not the devil? And you must them have an answer. As you see, this is not my question. This is not my question. I'm just reading your question, Muslims. One Muslim he asked Abu Dhar, who is the companion of the Prophet, ask him what is distinguishing the black dog from the yellow dog or the red dog. Okay, the black dog is the devil. If we color his hair, is that will fix the problem? Muslims, if we take him to the barber shop, I know a barber shop huh? who is very cheap. If I take him, this dog, to the barber shop and we do for him shampoo, not shampoo, you know, the Arabian shampoo, we do shampoo and we color his hair, we make him red, red head. Is that will make him not an enemy of Allah? Any Muslim there in the in the bushes? I mean, think about it. If Muhammad is not a prophet, how he knew that the black dog is the devil, but the white dog is not? Th think about it. Think, think, like, okay, let us think together. We have a black dog, and we have yellow dog, and we have a white dog, and we have red dog. The red dog is not the devil, no. Why? He's red. Oh, okay. The white dog is not the devil. Why? <laughs> it's obvious he's white. <laughs> Stupid. What's wrong with you? Don't you know? Have you ever heard? Actually, do you remember I made a video about a Muslim saying to me, because I was showing that the shaitan is a black person in Islam. A Muslim, he answered, I wish I have the, say, the copy of the Facebook he post. He said, have you ever saw an angel and he is black? Huh? What have you ever seen an angel? He is black. <laughs> My friend, first of all, to be honest with you, I did not meet an angel until now. The only one I met is Angela, the one the, the, the counselor for Germany, and she make me sick. And she is not black at all. What what are you talking about? Have you ever seen an angel is black? 
Guys, do you remember the guy, his name convert to Islam, the one the one who used to be a Muslim and he became non-Muslim? Do you remember him? He, his name now don't convert to Islam. The Muslims went crazy after this guy, he came to his mind. This guy, when he was a Muslim, he made a video saying, speaking about miracles of Allah, miracles of Allah. He said his cousin went to South Africa Okay, and she was sick, and then she prayed to Allah, 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 and then a white person appeared for her, and for sure this is he is he is an angel. For at that time there was no white people in South Africa. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, he was mad at that time. He was possessed by the devil. I'm glad that he left Islam and he became a Christian. He came back to his mind. But this is how what happened to you when you are a Muslim. You lose your mind. What do you think when he said there was no white people at that time? Obviously, you're possessed. You're possessed. Here, we see an ugly face of a racism. And not only that. Muhammad, he made fun of a black people. If you remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said that the white people, they are created from the right shoulder of Adam. From where? The right shoulder of Adam. And the black people, they are created from the uh, left shoulder of Adam and he created the right or the one from the right shoulder which is the white and he said to them go to heaven and I don't care and he created the one who they are let me actually let me get the hadith hold on so you guys, you can see with me what I'm talking about. What we are talking about here is the phobia of Muhammad and Islam with the black. And you know, funny, the Muslims, they say, they say they try to fool the black people, the black community, saying to them that Islam is a religion for everybody. And they quote for them the, the, the last sermon of the Prophet Muhammad. Suddenly that, that last sermon is not weak, but this is contradict everything Muhammad he said in his life. The Quran, the Hadith, the stories, everything. Read with me. The Prophet, Allah Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Allah created, let me see if you guys can uh, are getting the whole. All right, I think this is better now. Allah created Adam when he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted the from from it its white offspring from where from the right shoulder as if they are as if they are aware white ants and then he continued and he struck his left shoulder and they are emitted from it the black offspring as if it were charcoal then he said to those being emitted from the right shoulder which means the white one for paradise and i don't mind and then he said To those who had emitted from the left shoulder, they are for hell, and I don't mind. The translation is not so accurate. It doesn't say, I don't mind. It says, and I don't care. He decide. That's it. I don't care. White, go to heaven. Black, go to hell. 
maybe many of you here is wondering like what is the right shoulder and what is the left shoulder mean I mean what what about from the same shoulder and then you know he decided black and white go no because in Islamic religion they are trying to copy from other religion where the word right present who is right and the word who is left present who is wrong so the black people according to Muhammad they are born to be wrong they are born in the left and the white people they are born in the right which means the right direction the right side and this is one of the side of the phobia of Muhammad otherwise why he's saying that black people they are born to go to hell Allah he decide since he created Adam he wanna create white he wanna create black white from the right shoulder black from the left shoulder and the left will go to hell and the white they will go to heaven what is this what kind of cult this cult is the Muslim will make a 10,000 article to say to you it's weak for because it's embarrassing anything will make Muhammad look like a racist scumbag idiot they will say to you we don't accept it so what we will do now we go to the Quran because the Quran says it clearly in the judgment day Allah will make all the good ones white and all all the none good black who is the good ones the Muslims if we go in the Quran <clears throat> And again, you know, we don't make our own statement. We show you what Muslims believe, as you see. I am not saying anything, not translating. Because I know the Muslim, they will say Christian Prince is a liar. He's a liar. Blacks is going to hell. Okay, here we go. Let me pause the reference for you. All right. If we go to the tafsir, there's many actually, many places, but we can go to chapter uh, 27, verse number 82. And by the way, the chapter name here is the ant chapter. You see, the Quran is a zoo. You have everything. You have ants, you have elephants, spider, I mean, everything. Cow. Unbelievable. That's why I love the Quran. It's my favorite book. Okay. 27, 82. <clears throat> According to this uh, chapter, there is a beast will come from the ground. Guys, be honest with me. Don't you like to watch movies? And fictions movies okay just to let you know it's very possible that in the book of Ibn Kathir according to Muhammad the one who will be riding this beast is Tom Cruise so please stay tuned and buy a ticket so you can watch it okay let's make some money I mean come on nobody's nobody's making donation what I can do there's a in the last two weeks there's only uh, Three people they make a donation I mean why what's, what's wrong I think they don't like what I'm doing they hate me no problem I would pray to Allah to send me the black dog and I will put him in auction and all the Muslims will buy him because he's the enemy of Allah <laughs> no no I'm not going to play music my brother because I've been convinced that the music is haram and this is another phobia of Muhammad have you ever heard of a guy say that the music is haram I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Music is haram. Why? And the hypocrite, he said to them, music is haram, but you can sing my Quran. 
Isn't it Quran singing is a music? Anyway. Now, this beast will emerge, which will emerge at the end of the time. I'm so glad he will emerge at the end of the time. I mean, imagine you are in the highway and this a beast, you know, like just in the front of you. I mean, what you would do. Thank you, Allah, that he is coming at the end of the time. When mankind has become corrupt, if, Brother, Allah is going to send you a beast. Oh, Prophet, when? How big he is? Is he big? Do you have a big mouth? I will tell you. First of all, you said when. I will tell you when. When people will become corrupted, a prophet, but you are corrupt now. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, how corrupt a human being can be more than Muhammad, who make chapters in his Quran saying, Any Muslim woman, she can open her legs for me. Have you ever heard of a prophet like this? What Allah saying, Oh, Muhammad, oh, mommy. Oh Muhammad, blue any women open you. Oh mommy, oh mommy. A prophet who God, he have a God, he is so sincere, and he is so much interested in satisfying the sexual temptation and needs of the prophet. I want to have a God like this. Isn't it amazing? God in heaven, he made, he wrote an article called Quran and he sent it to Muhammad. Oh, Muhammad, any women, she want to provide her vagina for you so you can do bing, bang, bong, bang, bang with her only privilege for the Prophet. I mean, look at the privilege of the Prophet. Always it's about sex and money. Man, I mean, why I am not lucky? I don't have the first one, and I don't have the second one. <laughs> Guys, do you think if I became a Muslim prophet, Allah will send me a book? It's called Quran, and He will make a chapter that says, "Any Muslim woman she want to give herself to Christian prince." And for sure, Christian prince is going to do charity. As you see, the prophet here, he is like. Okay, Allah, are you, are you sure you want me to do this? Like, Muhammad, he have nothing to do with it. It's Allah. It's Allah wish. Allah, he wanted to sleep with all those women. Muhammad is a victim. Don't take it wrong. As you see, Allah, he said to him, you do that. So what is the problem? This is a duty. Can you imagine how much he will sweat? Can you imagine how much hard working he will do? All the women are lining up to come and sleep with the Prophet. And the poor Prophet, peace upon him, he spent the day and the night having sex. I feel sorry for him. Prophet of Allah, I mean, pray to Allah to stop this. I mean, why he is punishing you? And the Prophet, he said, it's okay. It's okay. I will do anything for the sake of Allah. Someone is saying to me, you cannot handle all those women. I mean, my friend, <clears throat> I have a solution. Do you remember the hadith where Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind in sex. Until I invoke my God and he sent me a dish of shish kebab, al kufait. Al kufait is kufta, you know, kufta, kufait from kebab. Al kufait. And I eat from it and I get the power of 40 men. 40 men? Are you sure? Viagara is not the creation of the Western. The first Viagara in the world is made in the kitchen of Allah. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh, what I can do. And what is killing me here? How Muhammad he was able to measure his sexual pleasure or uh, sorry, power to be the power of, of 40 men. Like what? He have a race. They brought 40 men. And Muhammad, he was competing with them. 
and he did beat 40 men how he how he knew it is 40 what about 39 I mean don't you think it's too much 40 even Christian Prince cannot do that me personally hardly I can do uh, yeah you know like 27 29 sometime then sometime 35 <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid religion let us continue let us continue so became corrupt and neglected i mean look at the word neglected here the translator here is trying to be strong with the language the command of allah and they change the true religion oh the muslims will leave islam the muslims are leaving islam they are changing the true religion they are not killing no more they are not raping no more <laughs> corrupt then Allah will cause the beast to emerge Ooh. from the earth. Oof. I'm really, I'm really, really worried. I'm really worried about all of you. I mean, imagine the judgment day is here and the beast of Allah is coming to you from the bushes. What you would do? Face it. The judgment day, Muhammad, he gave description how it's going to be. I see the beast, brother. I see the beast is coming from the earth. And this beast. Brother, can you describe it for us? Yes, brother. Yes, brother, I'm going to describe for you how he looked like. Hold on, he's coming. The beast is coming. And by the way, the beast, her name is Ajassasa. Ajassasa is a female name. I don't know, it's a female. Sound like it's a female. Let us see the description of Al Jassasa. Before we go and speak about uh, the the racism. <clears throat> All right. As Zubayr described Al Jassasa. Please, brother, as Zubayr. It has the head like the head of a bull. Its eyes like the eyes of a pig. Its ears like the ears of an elephant. Its horn like a horn of a stag. Its neck like a neck of an ostrich. It's a chest like the chest of a breed dancer. I uh, know actually, like a chest of a, uh, of a lion. Its color like the color of a tiger. Its hinges like the hinges of a cat. Its tail like the tail of a ram. And its legs like the legs of a camel. <laughs> Look like Allah. He put all the animals in the cocktail blender and he blend them all together. And now we got this beast. Any one of you is good in uh, drawing? Honestly, who is a, who of you is good art, artist in in, uh, in drawing? You see, let, I, I, I you know that I'm very good. And uh, did you did you know they invited me to many occasions to to for my paint around the world? Yeah, this is true. Let me let me draw for you the this beast. Okay. So his head like a head of a bull. How does the head of the bull look like? Let me try. This is a bull. And are you kidding me? What does that have to do with the bull? Look like. Uh... Let it go. I mean, uh, come on. It's a it's a bull. You like it? You like it? <laughs> 
and then his ears are the ears of an elephant. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, <laughs> the ears are bigger than. I mean, guys, please don't don't take my print and sell it because I, you know I you know like come on. I know. Should I put my signature or I'm not done yet? And the color is the color of a tiger. No, hold on, no. And uh, her neck is a neck of ostrich. Oh, then the neck is coming down. Ostrich. This is the neck. If, 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 if. I don't know how I can put all of this in the screen. And then uh, the, the what? And it's uh, chest like a chest of a lion. How the chest of a lion look like? Is that the chest of a lion? I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, I better stop because you guys you might sue me <laughs> for this horrible. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking to apply to teach uh, art in Washington D.C. Yeah, well, they invited Obama there. He don't know nothing about art. Yet they invited him and they gave him a degree in art. <laughs> I can get one. All that I need to do, step on the stage and draw this and <laughs> bingo, they will fire me in the first day. So amazingly, the description of this beast. However, this is yet, it's now uh, not our topic. No. Our topic is the racism of Allah. In the judgment day, Allah want to be sure that no black people enter his heaven only white so he will send this beast and this beast is going to have the staff of Musa's in it is hand and it's going to have the ring of cinnamon because you remember the Muslim believe that the ring of cinnamon is a magical ring and by the way this is a true I have it actually but just because okay let me let me prove it to you I'm going to hold the ring right now and I'm going to order you all to go to the donation link and make a donation I mean I wish I had that ring unbelievable man I will make a Trump help us I want to get that ring I want to get that ring stop lying white is a metaphor hold on hold on hold on guys there's a muslim here he got me busted stop lying a white here is a metaphor you know when muslim they say that i get it's very embarrassing for me i i was praying all night that muslims will not come and join us here but look like my prayer is not answered muhammad abdullah arab for christ supposed to me stop lying white is used as a metaphor for pure in the quran don't spread nonsense look at this liar now he just to prove us right because he you just say that white mean pure and black mean dirty but you are talking about a human correct guys he is the one supposedly now is exposing me, but he just confirmed it. He just said that the white color of the human being, because who is the one who will be white? The human. White is a pure. Okay. Which means the black is the dirty. And thank you very much. That's what we are saying. However, this is not metaphor. Do you want me to get you busted? Go, you see, uh, I'm, I'm leaving in a few days, so we need support and donation. That's why I'm talking about it. Nobody's making a uh, Muhammad, if you make a donation of a uh, hundred uh, penny, see how much that a dollar, okay? I will not get you busted. What do you say? We have a deal? Do we have a deal, Muhammad? Deal or no deal? I'm waiting for you, Muhammad. 
by your honor because I'm going to give you a shower. Either you make a donation of one dollar or I'm going to get you busted. What do you do? Deal or no deal? No deal. Then <laughs> my friend, you are welcome. Let us read here, guys, if this is metaphorical or not. If first of all, is the ring a metaphorical thing or it's a real ring? It is a real ring. Correct? Is it a real ring or it's a metaphorical ring? It is a real ring. This is the ring of Solomon and this is the staff of Moses. None of those two are metaphorical, those physical. We continue. Is going to strike the nose. Is the nose metaphorical? I don't worry, I'm not going vacation, my friend. I will make videos, and if I can make life, I will make life. I, I don't take I'm not taking a vacation, my friend. Exposing Islam is my mission. No, I'm not I'm not going on vacation. However, <clears throat> We need people help to support us in what we do. Is the nose is a metaphorical? Muhammad, are you there? I want you the nose to tell me here the nose is a metaphorical of what? I'm waiting. The nose is metaphorical of what? You say this is metaphorical? Guys, did he say it's a metaphorical or uh, I? I saw wrong because I'm an Arab and we sometimes we have too much wax in our ears. The prophet said, Do you know why according to the prophet we have wax in our ears? This is because shaitan he pissed in our urine on our in our ears, sorry. Yes, <laughs> pure science. So the nose is a metaphorical or it's a real nose, Mr. Muhammad. I'm waiting for your answer, man. What? Are you there, Muhammad? The nose here is a metaphorical. Okay, so the, so the nose is real, but the white is a metaphorical. <laughs> Guys, the, it's a strike, real strike, physical strike, with the staff and with the ring, and the nose is real. The staff is real. The ring is real, and the the strike is real, but the white is metaphorical. Let us get you busted more of the disbeliever. The nose of the disbeliever. This is metaphorical. The nose of the disbeliever is metaphorical. Metaphorical is it <laughs> with the staff, and it will make his face of the believer bright. White with sorry, with the ring. Okay, here it's not clear yet. Let us see. We have to make it clear to get Muhammad busted more. It will strike the nose of the disbeliever with the ring and will make the face of the believer bright with the staff. Still not clear, but look what will happen. If this is metaphorical, how people will recognize each other in the meal time when people want to eat. And when people they gather to for meal, they will say, one to each other, all believer or disbeliever, which means all white or black. So now people after this, after the, the, the beast hit them all, either by the staff or the ring, the believers become white and the disbelievers became black, and now they are meeting together. So the believer they say, Oh, believer, because now he's white. Oh, disbeliever, this, this is metaphorical. Let us continue. Hold on, hold on. We are not there. Yeah, we are not done yet. Um, when I say Christian Prince, when I get you busted, Christian Prince, he mean it. Trust me, he mean it. Read with me carefully. There is will no will be no no believer left without making it without it making a white spot on his face. Guys, is that a metaphorical? 
<laughs> this is a metaphorical. Is that a metaphorical? Brother, are you there? Is that a metaphorical? Making a white spot in his face. Is that a metaphorical? Hello? 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 The believer will be given identity, making them brighter and the pure. Ah, hold on, hold on. I'm learning something in you now. Hold on, guys. The text is moving. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Look, look, look what he said. The Muslim Abdul, he swallowed his tongue and he changed his statement. <laughs> a second ago, it was a metaphor. Now look what it became. It's not metaphor no more. Look, look, look. He said it's a metaphor just a second ago. Now he's saying believers would be given an identity by making it, making them brighter. <laughs> What is the metaphor then? Why you are lying, Abdul? Saying I told you, make a donation for one dollar. I will let it go. Let it go. <laughs> so, guys, the Muslim Abdul here is explaining to you. Please, so respect. Allah will give you identity, and He will make your face brighter white, and He will make the non-Muslims black. I mean, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? And this is how they would distinguish each other. You see, in the judgment day, all the Muslims are white and bright. White and bright. Non-Muslims will be black, finally, and black. Finally, you know? I want to be black. It's my wish. I mean, what's wrong with being a black? <laughs> Black people, they are the first in race. I want to be the first in running. Last time I ran, I was able to run. You know, we are Arab. And Arab mean, if you don't believe what Arab mean, we Arab, we exaggerate a lot. Last time I did run, I did run, I think, like 300 kilometers in two hours or one hour. I think it was one hour. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, but it's 300 kilometers. It's true, but uh, it was, don't take me wrong, it was in the map. Um, and uh, yeah, because the prophet he spoke about the flying carpet, you know, Arab, Arab, they have stories. So here, this guy he is saying that we are misunderstood. And first, he said this is metaphorical. Now he's confirming that this is how they recognize each other by the color. Let us continue. There will be no believer left without making a white spot in his face which will spread until his face is shining white. Now his face is shining white, which means all of him is white. This, he hit you ping in, in your face, the beast, because you're a believer. And then the whiteness will start spreading, 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 spreading. And then all of you will turn white. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. MashaAllah, what metaphor made for pure? What pure? You just say this is identity, you idiot. What pure? What metaphor? This is a real beast, a real staff, a real ring, and the face is real, the nose is real, and this is a color. How, how, how much we can explain it more than this to prove that this is not metaphorical? And you are the one who said that they will recognize each other by this, isn't it? Isn't it you who said that? Isn't it this is your statement? Allah will distinguish people by color. And the bad ones, let us continue. We are not done. We are not done yet. And there it says, and there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot in his face. Is that a metaphorical? Is that a metaphorical? 
who in the world here believe that this is metaphorical isn't it obvious making a black spot in the face of a human being the face is not a metaphorical the beast is not the strike is not the staff is not the ring is not and then he continues saying after he make all the disbelievers have a black spot in their faces which will spread until his face is black as a result do you see it guys this is the truth about the disgusting racist religion of islam there is a video it's called uh, the description of paradise from a d show you can watch it and laugh in the d show i wish i can play it for you but they will complain of copyright he said that before you enter heaven there is two angels will be waiting for you and they will be singing for you dum dum fatkhuluha hmm. and they will give you they will serve you two drinks two drinks the first drink you have is going to make you have a diarrhea. Uh, uh, all the bad things inside you will go out. Allah want to be sure that there's no shit in his heaven. I mean, make makes sense. And then the second drink will make you white like snow. What do you say, Muslims? This is Islam. This is the one you want to try to convince black people to convert to it. This is the most disgusting racist religion. The Muslims, they spread all over what it's called the last sermon of Muhammad. This is a fabricated story because this is contradiction for the Quran, contradiction for tons of hadith Muhammad he said. Who is the shaitan? The shaitan in Islam is a black person. The shaitan. Is a black person. Is that true, Muslims? Who is a Muslim? He dare to say no. <clears throat> Let us see. I'm trying to find you. Ah, let us see. This website is sometimes hard to find what you want. <clears throat> no problem. Let us see how he described the shaitan. Mm -hmm. Where, 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 where? <clears throat> Let me see. I don't like to mention something without showing it in the screen. Uh, because you know we like to give uh, we like to give reference 
Okay, let us try this. Oh boy, even this one does not exist at all. See, the problem, those websites, uh, the English ones, they don't have everything. Mm. Another try. Oh, we found something. Here we go. All right. Guys, I want to show you here how the Muslims false translation work. Uh, do, you, do you see the word Abyssinian? What is the Abyssinian mean? Anyone knows? What what does this word mean? Who knows what this word means? <clears throat> what what does it mean? Ethiopian, right? Ethiopian. But in Arabic, when we speak, this is this is not about a place where it's coming from. We are describing that he's black. So when we want to say, like the same as you say, uh, he's a Negro. You know, so you say Habashi. It doesn't mean really, so, oh, because the, the black around them, they knew is from Ethiopia. So when when they see someone, they say he is a Habashi. This is what it says. However, the one who will destroy the Kaaba, the the Shaitan, he is even if we take it literally as it says, he is a, from Ethiopia, and he is a black person. Let us continue here. <clears throat> uh, where is where the translation? Above mentioned hadith narrated. And here, by the way, he, he is here, he's making fun of the black people, how their legs look like. You know, uh, they call him the Suwaiqatain, the one with the thin legs. The reason for that, the African, through centuries, the white people they have a better life, they are enjoying, they are enslaving them, they are etc. And then those people they live in a very poor life, they live in the desert, they live in a place where they cannot really. Uh, they don't have really a good life. So they are poor people who have uh, thin legs. Those are the Ethiopian. So he is, Muhammad, teaching them that the shaitan who will destroy the Kaaba, his name is Dhusuwaiqatain, which means the man with the two thin legs, and he is from Ethiopia. Um Muhammad here he have a phobia from the Ethiopian. He said, "Leave the Ethiopian alone, the black Ethiopian alone, as long they leave you alone. For it is only the Ethiopian with the short legs, not short legs, thin legs, will seek to take out the treasure of the Kaaba. What Kaaba? What is the Kaaba treasure? Anyone knows what the Kaaba treasure?" What is the Kaaba treasure? Anyone can guess? <clears throat> the Kaaba treasure is a black stone. A 
But remember, until now, the ones who stole the black stone, none of them is black. None of them is black. Al Qurmuti is not a black person. He's an Arab, and he came, he destroyed the Kaaba, he killed 10,000 Muslims like him around the Kaaba. He took the black stone after destroying the Kaaba. He screamed at Allah in the in the yard of the Kaaba, saying, Allah, where is your birds? If you remember the story of the elephant in the Quran, where the Quran claimed that once upon the time, an Ethiopian army came to destroy the Kaaba. So Muhammad, he have in his head that Shaitan, this Suwaiqatain is a Shaitan and he is coming from Ethiopia. Uh, let us see. What else? I'm just trying to find you some more reference. <clears throat> mm. I don't think those we can go and check the hadith about the the black stone as an example oh let us read this one here before we go A man stood in the front of Al Hassan ibn Ali after the pledge to Muawiyah, and he said to him, You made fool of the believers, or you who has made fools of the believers. It doesn't say that. This is why I say to you when you want to learn about uh, Islam, you if you if you read the translation, they will fool you. They are fooling you with this translation. This is what it says: You made fool of us. Here it says. فقال سوّت وجوه المؤمنين سوّت وجوه المؤمنين. Now here he will say to you, this is metaphorical. I agree, this is metaphorical. You blackened our face. You blackened our face. So when you are a bad person in the culture of Islam, you are a black person still. Why, when we do bad, no, we don't say you white in our face. You blackened our face. What about saying you yellow my face? What the, what the blacking have to do with this? Because if you are a black person, you are a person of shame according to this culture on this religion. And this is the caliphate. And this is what they use in their language every day. So what the wujuh al mu'minin? But in the translation, did not appear. Let us go to something. Else,
how you turn into black. Oh, so this is not coming to. Let's see this one. All right. What make the black stone black stone? Because some of you might say, okay, how the Muslims are racist? They believe in the black and white, and shaitan is a black, and the dog is shaitan because he's black, and etc. But yet they kiss a black stone. They don't kiss a black stone, they are kissing a white stone. This stone is whiter than milk. You will see, because it's coming from heaven, this stone was whiter than milk do you see it and it was blackened by the sin of the children of Adam is that a metaphorical now is that a metaphorical absolutely not because the black stone is something physical it's a stone it is real it exists right now in the Kaaba actually few part of it there's only eight parts left because the Muslim they keep licking it so almost nothing left there so it is not metaphorical it is something physical something real and this stone because it's coming from heaven it is white everything in heaven is white according to Muhammad so you come from heaven you're white but the sin the sin will blacken you what cause the stone to be black the sin <clears throat> so you commit sin Allah punish you he make you black sin make you black this is what the, this is what I understand from this anyone can explain something else any Muslim can tell us this is something else who is a Muslim is willing to call me and tell me right now how the black stone became a black because of sin why it did not stay white well this is uh, this is what you find in my book sidewalk if you have my book it says <clears throat> that women the black stone became dirty or became black because women uh, they used to touch themselves when they have their period and, and place it in the in the black stone hello <coughs> hello. hello what happened to Mohammed Bakhtiyar? We are calling him back. Hey, Muhammad, you call me, right? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. What do you want to say, Mr. Muhammad? Uh, you, with this video you do, mm. uh, you are very wrong. Okay, okay, explain to us, no problem. Because I, I, I uh, live in Turkey and I'm Turkish. Mm. You are Turkish. And, uh, we, because uh, you uh, say uh, black dog, mm. we call them shaitan, uh, right? Mm. And no, this very wrong, and you lie. What lie? I showed you the hadith. Okay. Do you see and the hadith? May Allah bless you, my friend. Okay? My friend, hold on, hold on. How I lie? Is, is this the hadith in front of you? What hadith, my friend? It's in front what? of you. It's a front. It's a front of you. It's in the screen. It says, the prophet said, the black dog is the devil. Because uh, black dog, hmm? you uh, dangerous dog. You understand? Ah, the black dog is dangerous, so the yellow dog is not. But he did not say it's dangerous. He said it's a devil. Who who say devil? Who? Muhammad, Muhammad, your prophet. Yes, he said the devil because yeah. it is shaitan for us. Ah, so it's shaitan. So why is shaitan? It's a black it's a black dog, it's shaitan. So why the yellow dog is not shaitan? Explain to us, please. 
uh, I don't know where where you uh, because we call them shaitan. Uh, we call them shaitan. Why? Why? Why the black dog is shaitan, but the red dog is not shaitan? Explain to us. You are the Muslim. I'm learning from you. But uh, you, if you uh, black dog, uh, give give bad luck, bad luck. Ah, black dog give bad luck. Okay, but this is not the case. We're talking about shaitan. Why the black dog is a shaitan? Because uh, black dog, uh, hmm. uh, we black dog in prophet, our love prophet, he uh, bite bite many people. Oh, the black dog, he did that. Yeah, mm. but he is not talking about biting. He's talking about him as a devil. He's being the devil. I ask him, all the dogs bite. The what the yellow dog, and the white dogs. And whatever color of dogs they can bite, they have teeth. A human being they bite too. You know, if you fight with your wife, she will bite you. You know, so now uh, answer me what make the black dog a devil? I want to know. He did not say he bite, all dogs bite. He said all of them they are dogs. They asked the prophet what distinguished the yellow dog and the white dog or the red dog from the black dog. He said the black dog is the devil. Not only that, he said, if you see a black dog, kill him. Of course, uh, 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 kill him. You the are. best option. Why? The best option, why you kill the black dog? Explain to us, guys. He said, of course. Why, of course? Why you want to kill? Why this is the best option for you as a Muslim? Explain to us. Go ahead. Uh, because uh, we are, we, uh, we proud uh, to, to be, uh, to kill dog in name of Allah. Ah, okay. And you said you are Turkish. Yes, I'm Turkish. Do you know what your prophet said about Turkish people? Uh, no. Okay, let me show you, because you remind me now of something your prophet he said about you people about the Turkish. He said that your face is like somebody hit you with the hammer. It's for sure, he's speaking about you, your people before you invade. The Castantinia and you have the blonde girls before that you look Asian, right? So look what he said about you. Let me show you the hadith. <clears throat> Those are your people. The last hour would not come until the Muslims fight with the Turks. A people whose their faces would like be like hammered shield, wearing clothed of hair and walking with their shoes of hair. What do you say about that? He is making fun of your face. He's saying that your face is like somebody hit you with the hammer because you have a small eyes and you have a small nose because you are originally from the middle of Asia before you invade Europe and rape the blonde girls. What do you say about Muhammad making fun of your look as an Asian person? Uh, this 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 person mm. Abu Huraira. Yeah, the father of the cats. You know him. This person uh -huh. he said this. Okay. No, no, he, he, no, 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 no. The messenger said. Read, read, read carefully with me. He said, Abu Huraira said, reported Allah messenger saying. So the, the one who said that is Muhammad. Abu Huraira is reporting what Muhammad said. So what do you say about a prophet making fun of you Turkish people saying judgment time will not come until you fight with the Turks or they have a funny face and their face is like it's been hit by a hammer. By the way, did you been hit by a hammer anyone any time? Is that true? Like you Turkish look like uh, that? No? No, no. Nobody hit Why? you by a hammer before? No, why okay. would uh, uh, why would we hit by hammer? I don't know. Your prophet but, saying he's making fun of you. He says their faces has been hammered. He's saying like as if, as if like a car goes over your face because your face is a flat. Uh, my friend, this this you read this not true. Okay, but not true. It's true. Who said not true? You want to bet? Okay, if not true, you take me to a belly dancing party. Islamic Presidency Party, 
if it's true I take you to Islamic be dancing party what do you say this is Sahih al-Bukhari hadith number 2912 what not true you don't even know what you are talking about I'm sure you never heard of this before write it right away you jump to say not a true what not a true this is a true this is very true my friend this internet my friend what, what internet. internet what internet this is Sahih al-Bukhari my friend go and open and read look look what he will say look look this is Sahih al-Bukhari Sahih al-Bukhari huh? hadith number three five nine two huh? I heard Allah messenger saying near the hour you will fight with the people who will wear hairy shoes and you will also fight with the flat faces like shields those are the Turkish what do you say uh, no this uh, this talk okay mm -hmm. about uh, very bad people uh, not not all Turkish ah okay. but it doesn't matter but do you, so are you saying some of the Turkish they have uh, hammered faces only some of them uh, and your prophet he they, hate those people so he uh, you are saying your prophet he hate only those Turkish who have hammered faces if you are a white blonde person uh, the prophet like you is that the case but uh, you know no proof okay what do you mean text. Uh, I'm showing you all the hadith and reference my friend what do you mean uh, no proof all those no proof if guys does it say does it say they are sahih does it say they are sahih Read with me in the screen. Say Sahih, Sahih, Sahih. So now you have to invite me for a belly dancing party. Halal, by the way. I don't watch uh, not halal belly dancers because you know in Islam there's halal belly dancer, right? You can bring slaves, you kidnap them. Those are halal. They can dance for you naked, like Omar al-Khattab. He used to beat a woman, the slave, before she used to cover herself. And when she served the food, she have to serve it with wearing no nothing in, in the top. Her breast is just open. In the front of the men, so we can do that. Now, what do you say? This is Sahih. Sahih. This is Sahih. Yeah. So this is a racism against the Turkish. What do you say? This is against your people. You are a Turkish. So now we start with the, with the dogs, and now we are against the Turkish. What about lizard? Do you know that Allah, the enemies of Allah, are the lizard too? Do you hate lizard? Be honest with me. Le lizard yes do you what is a lizard oh you don't know what lizard and i need to find you a, a picture now and a lizard hold on let me find you a picture of a lizard We will find you a lizard picture. Anyone knows what lizard uh, in Turkish mean? We need to uh, find a translation. Okay, hold on. Let me. I think here we should find a picture. Okay, are you looking at the screen? Are you looking at the screen? Yes. Okay. This is the enemy of Allah. Look at him. I've... Wow. Scary. This night vision picture. Let us take him with the daytime. Ah, uh, this, uh, this, yes. Yeah. This, this guy. This guy. Do you know? Do you know him? Ah, uh, Shapik. 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 Ah, okay. Well, why this? This guy is the enemy of Allah. Do you know? What? What exactly? What he did? Uh, my friend yeah. this animal this this animal very small but very dangerous oof, okay oof, 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 okay what what because they 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 like they when they come to uh, to uh, hand uh -huh. or uh, feet uh -huh. they they like they like uh, your blood oof, 
Oof, and, oof. They do really. Are you, uh, are you, give you, uh, are you sure? Are you sure? I never heard of this before. This is new for me. So the lizard, they give you your prophet talking about the house lizard. By the way, the one you see them in the house, they are very tiny, small. Why they are very? Uh, since when those? Uh, this so this one come to your hand and give you. Are, are you sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm so glad I'm speaking to you, Mr. Mo it's an honor to speak to someone educated like you. I never thought all my life I will learn such a knowledge. Today I just learned something new. I'm going to add it to my note. So in the future, because you see, this is what I do. I learn from people like you, and then I open chat and I claim that I know, you know. So, but the fact I'm learning from people. So now I learned that this is because this is a very dangerous animal. So Allah he made an order for the Muslims to do jihad against it. Why we need to do jihad against it? What do you think? What's the reason? Uh, no, we don't. You, you, uh, you use word jihad. We don't use word jihad. Where in Quran you, you find jihad? Okay, if I find it for you in the Quran, what you would do? But... Uh, we say we we uh, kill. No, no, hold, hold, no, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, I I know why you are saying where in the Quran it says jihad because I, there is many uh, dummy Muslims they keep saying if you search the whole Quran you will not find the word uh, jihad. Is that correct? Is that is that what you heard before? They say to you if you search the whole Quran you will not find the word jihad. Yes or no? You heard this right? My friends, we. I'm asking you a question. Uh, is it why you are saying to me this is not in the Quran? You said to me this is not in the Quran because you heard before people are saying to you that the word jihad is not exist in the Quran. Is that correct? Uh, you 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 use uh, jihad. My friend, why you wanna, why you don't want to answer? Is the word jihad is in the Quran or not? If we type the word jihad in the Quran, the Muslim who will say to you, we cannot find it. Here we go. This is jihad. Where is jihad? There's no jihad, brother. There's no jihad. Where is jihad? No, it says jihad in front of you. Here we go. This is jihad. Okay. Who oh, oh, this? This uh, is jihad. This. this uh... Where in the Quran there is no jihad? This is jihad. My friend, this Arabic. Hmm? I. Ah. Yeah, uh... So. So what? I no, no speak Arabic. I, so okay. This I, not, this my not my problem. It's not my problem. But you say to me, where in the where you got this word jihad from? So, and then in the Quran says more ugly. He says jahidu, jahidu, as a group, not only one. And how you can how you can do jihad by killing the, the infidels? You know. How you wanna go to heaven? All those verses by going doing jihad. All right. You see, all of those is about jahidu. Go for jihad as a group. All right. All those verses. Now we go back to zero. So I showed you. I did not show you yet about uh, about the lizard. What do you think about lizard? What, why you need to kill them? Uh, we uh, lizard is uh, haram for us. Mm, okay. Why? Why haram? Because uh, we don't, we uh, we no no eat lizards. Mm, why? We no eat lizard. Uh, we we don't we no eat uh, uh, red blood. Mm. Well, as I, I you know, I, I, if somebody told me that the reason we don't eat lizard as Muslims because they are Jews, what do you say? Is that true? Uh, they are no. Jews? No? No. You don't believe in that? Do you think he's crazy, the one who said that, that the, the lizard are Jewish people? Allah, he made them lizard? Uh, no? You don't believe in that? We, uh, Jewish, no. we... Lizard, lizard. Let us talk about lizard. Do you think the lizard, they are Jewish people? Who Allah, he made them lizard. They are Jewish. Allah made them lizard. Some people, they say that. I don't know. You, do you believe in that? Uh... No, no. So no. you think it's stupid? Do you think it's stupid to say such a thing? Uh, stupid? No, no. It's, is it smart then? 
Yes. It's smart to say that the Jewish are, are lizard. Uh, we, why, why you mention uh, Jewish people, they are human, okay? They are human. Um, I don't know. Your, yes. Your prophet in the front of me here is saying no. They are they are lizard. Uh, this you this text is uh, uh, translate manipulation. Okay. What what manipulation? This is your Islamic translation. Uh, for me, I don't need to read translation. I read Arabic. This is your website. This is your Muslim website. Sunnah.com. According to your prophet, the Jewish are lizard, and this is why he don't want to eat them. If you eat a lizard, you are eating a Jew. Do you see it? We were in the army with the Messenger of Allah, S A W S. We got some lizard, and ro I roasted one lizard, and brought it to the Messenger of Allah. He said he placed his, his uh, before him, and he took a stick and he counted the fingers. Fingers, you see, he know them from their fingers. Then he said, a group of the children of Israel were, were transmitted, or transformed, into animals of the land, and I do not know which animal it was. He did not eat it, nor did forbid it. So he was not sure if the lizard are the Jews or not yet. He's afraid if he eat the lizard, he's eating a Jew. What do you think? Do you, do you think really Allah, he made people lizard and cats and dogs and pigs and monkeys? Do you believe in that? Uh, this, uh, this uh, Muhammad, but by the way, the lizard, how, how many how many finger he have? Uh, lizard. Yeah, how many finger he have? Uh, no, what do uh, you mean? How many fingers? fingers? Do you know what fingers mean? Yes. Okay. But, uh, how many fingers? How many? Uh, four. The the lizard have four fingers. Okay. Okay, let us see this one. Let us check. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah, this is why Muhammad he think they are Jews because they have fingers. They have five fingers like us. I mean, your prophet five. is so smart, man. How how he thought about it? I never thought about this before. So your prophet he they put the lizard in the front of him, and then he start counting their fingers, and he said like one finger. Two finger, three finger. How many fingers you have, Muhammad? Uh, this not uh, no. How can you say uh, this were Jewish people and then Allah transformed them? It's not true, my friend. What do you mean not true? You don't believe that Allah He made the Jews into animals? No. Oh, but this is in the Quran. Don't you know the Quran says that the Jews, Allah, He made them pigs and monkeys? Don't you know? Yes. So, but you saw, a second ago you said no, there's no, they did not make them animals. Now you say yes. But uh, he, he not mean, he think. He think? Oh, what, yes. What does that mean? What do you mean he, he think? Thinking, uh, not no but uh, not true uh jewish human normal normal yeah, yeah. Uh, transformed to a uh, lizard not real he think so your pro are you saying to me your prophet is a crazy he He's, think no pro prophet i believe he opinion okay opinion oh your prophet have his opinion but his opinion is not convincing to you so you don't believe in what he what he's saying he's saying what he's I, saying you are saying what, what Muhammad said is stupid. His opinion is stupid, right? No, no, I I not call Muhammad stupid. I love Muhammad. Ah, okay, but you just said this is his opinion. You don't believe in his opinion. Do you believe that uh, uh, Allah He made the the Jews uh, pigs and monkeys and lizards? Yes or no? Yes. You believe in that? Of course. Okay. But a second ago, you told me you don't believe in that. You said this is his opinion. I said uh, I don't uh, believe that uh, it uh, is true, but uh, I believe opinion. You see? You see, my English is not good like yours, but I'm trying to understand. Opinion of Muhammad that the Jews became animals. Do you agree with it or not? 
Yes. Do you agree? Okay. So you need to kill the lizard. Is that because they are Jews? Jew? No. Uh huh. Oh, no, what, you do know, you, what, what do you mean? No? Okay, I, I want to ask you then why the prophet said then the one who kill a lizard from the first shot, Allah will give him a special uh, reward. Reward, yeah, in heaven, like extra versions. If you kill a lizard, why? Read with me carefully. The prophet of Allah said. Whoever kills a house lizard, you see, this is a house lizard, not the one who live in the jungle of Amazon. A house lizard. And those are a small, tiny one, very cute. And by the way, they are very useful because they eat the insects around you. They eat, uh, they eat uh, spiders. They eat, you know, they they help you actually. They don't. They never harm any human being. I never heard of a lizard doing anything wrong to anyone. They don't. They cannot. Now, read with me. Whoever kills the house lizard with one blow will have such and such reward whoever kill it with two blows will have such and such reward which means less than the first one and whoever kill it from the third one he will have such and such which means less than the first and the second so why you will get a reward for killing a lizard Uh, we reward uh, uh, we because it's uh, uh, who kill lizard uh, is a hero for us. He's a hero. Uh, why? Because uh, lizard, uh, it's it's not. If you don't uh, kill lizard, mm. then you have too many lizard. Ah! If you don't kill lizard, you have too many lizard. Well, there's too many animals around us. Why Muhammad he focus on the lizard? What about killing the flies? Which one is more harmful? Lizard, so what? Too many lizards will not do any wrong. They don't eat your food. They eat insect. Do you eat cockroaches? Do you eat fly? Do you, they don't eat your food. What's the problem? I look what this guy here said in the text. Mr. Naif, he said in the text. I wish Mr. Naif would call me. I don't know why he don't call. Maybe his mom, she did not let him call me. Naif, he said, the north kingdom of Israel, the ten tribes are lost. We do not know what happened to them. Even Jews search for them. <laughs> so you are saying to me that there's a tribe is lost and we can find them between the lizard, my friend? <laughs> Mr. Naif, are you saying that those tribe of the Jews who they are lost, they are the lizard? Can you confirm that to us, please? Can you confirm, Mr. Knife? Please, we are waiting for your confirmation in the text. Somebody saying, Akhbatni. Shino Akhbatnak. Shino Ada. Ahtiram, you're a jewel. Khalil medicine. Ishrab. Yeah, Naif. Are you there, Naif? My friend, mm. you you only you only mention mm. uh, you should understand. I don't understand. Uh, this is the problem. We don't understand, Muhammad. Your prophet is crazy. Obviously, I mean, no. why? What, what? Okay, tell me why? Okay, now we will kill the lizard anyway. Why, if I kill him from the first blow, Allah will give me a reward in heaven? Why? Why the second blow is less reward? Why is that? I uh, told you. It's uh, it's like uh, like you give a uh, medal. If, 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 if. So if I go to Turkey right now, I will find the Turkish people in the street chasing lizard and killing them. And like everybody want to, how many, how many medal you get from your, from your God by now? I mean, how many lizard you killed in your life? Be honest with me. Uh, no, I, I don't, I don't like lizard. Okay. I don't, you don't like them. lizard. You don't like them. They don't like you too. I can tell. But I mean, what? What? But isn't it? Don't you want to get reward? Here we go. Your prophet saying you get a very extra reward if you kill the lizard from the first blow. What about tomorrow? You go in the street, you and Erdogan, and start looking for lizard and make a video of it. 
This is jihad, as you see, jihad against the lizard. So you Muslims, you have a phobia. The dogs are your enemies. The black dogs is a shaitan. The lizard is the enemy of Allah. I mean, what is that? What about the mice? What do you think about the mice? Mouse. Yeah, Mickey Mouse. Uh, do, you, mouse do you know? Uh, do you know? Do you know the cartoon Mickey Mouse? Yes, I, I know. Yeah. Do you know that the, the Muslims, your brothers, they have a fatwa, which I mean a holy order to kill Mickey Mouse. Do you? Did you hear of, of it? Uh, but uh, you you know you should know uh, mice okay mm. I don't like my have mice okay but do you like uh, Mickey Mouse do you like Mickey Mouse be honest with me did you watch when you are a kid Mickey Mouse I think you still watch it until now don't you uh, no no I don't see Mickey Mouse okay but why the Muslim want to kill Mickey Mouse why why they why Mickey Mouse is not Mouse is uh, uh, animation. Okay, but Muslims wanna wanna kill it. Why? So you know, uh, it's mice, yeah. mice, very small mice. Uh -huh. They they walk. They they dangerous. You know that. Uh, but no, okay, why you wanna? But this is Mickey Mouse. This is the uh, this is the cartoon. Why you wanna kill the Mickey Mouse? My friend, because you. I think you live in uh, America. That's why you uh, mentioned Mickey Mouse. My friend, I live in America. That's why I mention Mickey Mouse. No, you live in you live in Arabia. The sheikhs who mentioned killing Mickey Mouse, they are in Arabia, and this is the news. Mickey Mouse dies. Say Saudi Arabia cleric. They, they the Muslims. They made a fatwa to kill the Mickey Mouse for he is the enemy of Allah. Do you uh, see the article? My my friend. Yeah. I live in uh, Turkey, not Saudi Arabia. It doesn't matter. This is a Muslim cleric. This is not about uh, which country, you know. And all Muslims cleric they agree that Mickey Mouse is very dangerous. They should be killed. Have you ever thought about like committing suicide against Mickey Mouse or doing something like an uh, attack yourself and your family by the help of Erdogan? Is it like the plan of the Muslim in the future to wage a war against Mickey Mouse and his family and his army? Uh, no, no. no. Uh, Erdogan is a leader of our free Muslim world. Yeah, Muslim free. Just yesterday, he kicked 18,000 employees of the government. Is that a free nation? You make them lose their jobs because they don't like the president? Uh, no, these people yeah. were... Uh, enemy of uh, our enemy, uh, Fatwa Gulen, and ah, he, he America. but Golan is a Muslim too, and he's a Turkish like you. What enemy? Why he became an enemy just because he don't like your president, and he's a Muslim Brotherhood like your president. Actually, he is the one who made your president a president. He was the master of your president all his life. Now the guy he took over and he threw him in the garbage. So why eighteen thousand people? They lost their job yesterday. In a free country, just because they are against the president, eighteen thousand in one day. In one day, uh, I will tell you. They... Uh, no, I, will, I know the secret because they did not do jihad against the lizard. No, it's no? not true, my friends. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about the lizard story. Yes, eighteen thousand. Just yesterday, you can go and read the law. He signed a law, and eighteen thousand people lost their job. In one day, that's why I say Turkey is is, is 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 being destroyed. This guy is going to cause a civil war. When you make eighteen thousand let go, all of them they are important people. All of them they are from the army, from the police, from the air forces, from the navy, from everywhere. Those are armed people. They will go and make war. Just wait, it's coming, and the and the economy is collapsing, and the country is going in hell. Now listen, uh, Mister. I showed you that Muhammad he hated Turkish. You have no answer. I showed you that Muhammad he think the Jews are lizard. You have no answer. Uh, what about uh, the Jews? They are rats. What do you think? Do you think the Jews are rats, or this is the phobia of your prophet? Uh, where, where, uh, where Muhammad say uh, Jewish people are, are are rats? I don't know. I saw that in the Rat magazine. 
Uh, here we go. Let us see. My friend, we we respect Jewish as we people. Respect you. Man, that's that's too, that's a good lie. I like that. Okay. No, it's well, true, my friend. Okay, true. It's true. Yeah, this is a true lie. Absolutely. Okay, let's see. What your prophet said about the Jews? They are rats, my friend. The Jews are rats. Here we go. What is where is the guy who said the nation of Israel, one nation of Israel is lost? Read to me. The prophet said, the prophet said, a group of Israelists were lost, and nobody knows what they did. But I do not see them, except that they were cursed and they changed into rats. Do you see it? Yes. Hmm. Do you think really the rats are Jews? Do you agree with your prophet or do you think he is being dumb? Stupid. Uh, no. We, this prophet, hmm. our prophet Muhammad, hmm. uh, bless hmm. him. Bless him a lot. Inshallah please, 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 please say inshallah. again, bless him, inshallah, inshallah. Do you know what to bless him mean? Yes. What to bless him mean? You tell me. I ask you, my friend. You tell, you tell me. You tell me. What a blessing mean? You said, "May prophet bless him." What a blessing mean? Uh, we bless him hmm. because we respect our prophet. Ah, okay, we will talk about that later. Let's not. Let us go and focus on the rats. So, why the Jews are rats for your prophet? What do you think the real reason behind that? To be honest with you, once a Jew he came to my house. I just went to my my bedroom. I came back. I found him eating from my refrigerator. You believe it? So maybe your prophet was telling something in connection. What do you think? Is that why Muhammad he here is guessing that the Jews are rats, and he is giving proof of that? So do you agree with him or you don't? Uh, he, the prophet, he did not like. Uh... Uh, direct direct say Jew are red. Ah, he did not say but no, he said that. Read with me carefully. It says, Look, say hold on, hold on. You see what I like about your prophet? I like his super intellect and super intelligence. Look what he said. He said that there's a nation, a group of the Jews lost. So now Muhammad is giving us with his intelligence some introduction to the story. We are lost, and nobody knows. Where they are, where they, where did they lost? And this is amazing. I mean, the introduction alone is a story by itself. But I do not see them, except they were cursed and changed into rats. Now, Muhammad, you want to give us why he thought or he believed they are the rats? He said, "For if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it." But if a milk of a sheep in the front of it, it will drink it. That is astonishing. What do you say about such a knowledge? Be honest with me. Uh, my friend, this, uh, he said that he, uh, Jewish, hmm. Uh, what? Uh, why? Why you mentioned that they changed? My friend, my rats. friend, my friend. Your prophet saying that because he noticed that those rats don't drink she camel and the Jews they don't drink she camel, he is thinking this is the very clear proof that these those rats are Jews, and this is very scientific. Don't you agree? I mean, look. Donkeys don't drink vodka, and Muslims don't drink vodka. Does that mean that Muslims and donkeys are Muslims? They used to be Muslims and became donkeys. Uh, no. So what are your prophet saying that then? Are you making fun of your prophet? Uh, no, uh, this prophet. What this prophet? Uh, show respect. Don't say this prophet. Say my prophet. Don't say this prophet. My prophet. My prophet. Please show respect. So. My prophet, prophet. Okay, no, you said you this mean? prophet, you said, you know, when we say this prophet, it's like you are putting his your finger in his eye. My prophet, okay, my prophet, he think the rats are the Jews. Why? Because they don't drink it, drink the she camel milk. 
is that really a reason to believe that somebody is an animal like somebody because they don't they eat the same food as an example as an example as an example monkeys they drink urine Muslims they drink urine do you think Muslims and monkeys are one nation your prophet he said drink urine monkeys they drink urine they have no problem they drink anything so what do you say what is the logic your prophet here providing us that because the rats and what what your prophet saying here that those are not only Jews my friend those are special kind uh, of Jews very very special uh, those are uh, simply an uh, Orthodox Jews Uh, Jews, uh, Orthodox Jew, we, this is the, my, my prophet, this not, not uh, mentioned that Jews. Uh, my, my friend, he's saying that he's saying those are Orthodox Jews because not all the Jews, they care for those stuff. You must be Orthodox Jew to do that. So he is saying that those rats are Orthodox Jews. By the way, I noticed that rats, they have a beard. Did you notice that yourself? Some of them they have beard. Uh, this no, this you compare this uh, not not interest. Okay. What but not interest? It's your prophet saying because the, the rats don't drink the she camel with his super intelligence, he got the conclusion that because the camels, the she camel milk is not drunk by the rats, obviously they are Jews and they are Orthodox Jews. This is, your, so, this is the special intelligence of your prophet. Show respect. I mean, are you saying he's a liar? Are you saying your prophet is lying here? No. Okay. No. Are you saying your prophet is stupid here? No. Then you have to believe in what he said. You have to say, yes, those rights are Jews. Otherwise, you are making fun of your prophet. Uh, that's, that's, not, uh, that's not true because... Uh, you, you, hold on, hold on. Muhammad, I mean you are driving me crazy. Did you just say this is not true? You are saying your prophet is a liar. He did not uh, direct say Jew. No, he said, he said, he said, because they are not drinking the she-milk camel, they are the camel she-milk, they are not, they, are, they must be Jews. He's saying that. What do you mean not direct? He said he's comparing between the rats and the Jews. What is the what they share with, with together? What they share? Both of them they don't drink, don't drink the she camel, and this is the reasoning for him to prove to us that those are Jews who Allah transformed them into rats. By the way, I saw I saw a, a video of a rat was shaking his head, you know, because he was like praying, you know. No, no, he's reading the Torah. What do you say? Uh, my friend, uh, uh -huh. this is not true. What do you mean not true? He he say he he uh Jew not really uh red, okay? They are not okay. So why you a prophet is saying that you confirm that your prophet, my friend, not to me. Muhammad is Muhammad respect all all uh, people. Okay, my friend, what Muhammad respect all people? Here we go. He's saying that rats are Jews and they are Orthodox. What what do you say? Maybe uh, he he not say uh, to. Uh, hmm. This. Uh, you you put uh, interesting text mm. just to to uh, propaganda you see ah it's me now to blame well i'm not the one who said that my friend it's your prophet what's wrong with you you want to blame me now for what your prophet said ask your prophet what he said why he said that why you are blaming me now oh let us blame the jews okay let me ask you a question do you have a refrigerator at home what do you have refrigerator at home the one you put the food in to stay cold like freezer uh, 
uh, yes. Okay, you have one. Do you know why we have freezer and refrigerator according to your prophet? Do you know what the real reason? This is because of the Jews. According to your prophet, the food is damaged because of the Jews. Do you believe in that? Or you don't believe? Uh, uh, no, he no no say that uh, no he say my friend no he say no he say let us see here we go your prophet said the reason for everybody to have a freezer let me read the hate for you the prophet said everyone he should have a freezer because if you don't have a freezer the israeli they will make your food damage do you see it the hate in front of you the prophet said where it not for Benny israel meat will not decay so why the why the meat damage because of the Jews. Do you see? Uh, you this this say for uh, Bani Israel. So Bani Israel is name. the Jews. Bani Israel is the Jews, my friend. Bani Israel is the Jews. Bani uh, Bani in Arabic mean the children of Israel. Those are the Jews. Abdul. Uh, it's Arabic. You see? Ah, it's Arabic. Ah, but Israel is not Arabic, my friend. And the word Benny is not even Arabic. This is a Jewish word. This is a Hebrew word. Now, what do you say? The prophet said, "We're not if Benny Israel meat will not decay. Why the why the meat decay and the damage because of the Jews? I know it. I know it. I am spending all this money for my refrigerator, electricity, buying the freezer. Uh, you know, uh, and all of this because of the Jews. If there is no Jews, we can leave the food outside on the table for centuries and will never damage." But because of the Jews, look what's happening. This is the phobia of Muhammad. Isn't it? This is a phobia. Muhammad, you think even the food is damaged and we blame the Jews for anything? Uh, no, he not. Uh, uh, what do you uh, mean? No, uh, no. He's saying that. Explain to me what is the relationship between beef and the Jews then? I have one kilogram of beef is going to be damaged only because of the Israeli. Explain that to me. I'm listening to you. He not uh, he say here meat, not uh, not uh, other food. He what, say what meat. Meat, yeah, meat. You know what meat? Meat, uh, beef. Uh, yes. Shish kebab. Beef. Yeah. So why yeah. it's go? Ah, so only meat. Ah, I got a point here, guys. You see, we have to be higher in level to understand the Muslim. He make a point here which is not, we are not aware of it because we are Christians, we are not that smart. It is meat only, not all the food. So the Jews only damage your meat, not the rest, like not tomato, or etc. No. Only the meat. Okay, explain to us now why the meat will be damaged by the children of Israel. Uh, children or Israel or Jewish? The Jewish, the Jewish, the children of the Israel. The ch Israel is a guy. His name is Israel. His uh, children are the Jews. Okay, the, the meat will damage because of them. Explain to us why. How? Uh, my friend, hmm. he talk about one Jewish person. No, it says Benny Israel. Benny or childrens, childrens of Israel. Childrens, not one. Not one, uh, not one person, not one person. Let me show you different better translation if you don't if you don't like this translation because customers here come first. Here we go. Do you see it? The prophet said, the prophet said, but for the Israelis, meat would not decay. Okay, do you see it? If not the Jews, the meat would not decay. And then he continues saying, and if there is no Eve, no wife will betray her husband. So he blamed Eve. For all the problems in the world, all the women they betray their husbands because of Eve. They are bad. They are ugly. They are disgusting. That's why I'm not married. Are you married, Muhammad? Uh, married? Yeah. Uh, no. Huh. By the way, if you are thinking about divorce, I will give you my card. I have a degree in law, in Islamic law. I can divorce you very easy. All right. I can defend you. Doesn't matter even if they are four wives, and I will not charge you too much. Okay, after we finish, I will give you my card and my office number so you can contact me after the, you know, and we can bring a lot of Muslims to me. Anyone want to divorce? Or if you divorce your wife three times and you want to have her back, we have a solution from the Quran. Don't worry. Now, if not the Israelis, as you see, it's not for one guy, the meat will not damage. Explain that to us. Uh, he, 
uh, Mohammed, mm -hmm. he say that meat not uh, as food uh, decay. He uh, he say uh, metaphor. This is metaphor. Yes. Okay, it was very metaphor to meet you and speak to you. I'm very glad. Call me again, Mr. Muhammad. I think we are done for today. Thank you, Mr. Muhammad, for calling us. It was a very nice metaphorical call between I, me and you. I give you su suggest. Uh -huh. Is it going to be a metaphorical suggest or is it going to be real? Uh, you need uh, you need find real work, okay? Uh, real work. Is, uh, not I, not I, sit uh, internet all day. My friend, this is my metaphorical work. What do you think? What what was the job of your prophet? What is the job of your prophet? Yeah, he, he have thirteen wives. He have hundreds of girls to sleep with. How he no. make living? How he make living? What he do for living? Your prophet? No, he he worked very hard. No, no, no. Uh, he did not work. Us. No, he did not work anything. What work? Tell me, tell me his job. Before he became a prophet, he was working for Khadija. After he married a Khadija, he have no job. He sit home, have sex with the wife, the old wife. Then he claimed to be prophet. He raped the people. He take their money. He 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 steal the money. He attacked the caravan. What is the job of your prophet? My friend, hmm. you say this this serious accusation. I'm not saying that. It's in the Quran. Do you want to show it to you from the right magazine? Oh, my friend, hmm. please you find the work. Okay, okay. no sent internet. Mm. Do, do you, I understand. Do you, do, you, do you like to give me a job in Turkey? If I, I like to work in those night clubs in, in Istanbul, do you have connection? Uh, yes, come Istanbul, my friend. Uh, a, a lot of I Turkish girls before. in prostitution, mashallah. It's a very Islamic country. You know, you walk there yeah. in the street, people wearing no clothes. I wonder why. Anyway, Mr. Muhammad, thank you very much for your metaphorical call and your metaphorical advice. And, and I really, Shawa, I learned, I learned. Bless you and uh, long live. Our president Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Okay. Seni seviyorum. That's a good one. You know, my friend, the best thing happened to Turkey for me is Erdogan because this is the one who will make Turkey Turkeys. And count my words. In five years from now, there's no Turkey. Five years from now, just wait. You will see this country, this country is divided and scattered. This is why, actually, people, they ask me if I wish Erdogan to win or to lose. I said, I pray, not only I wish, that he will win. This is the best thing happened for me as a person who, a uh, uh, Christian from the Middle East, we suffer a lot because of the Turkish. Uh, they they are going to face the consequence history will repeat itself and will go back to them to, the, to their own so the worst thing happened to turkey is erdogan the best thing for me is erdogan the worst for you as turkish and you will see that that's why i pray that even erdogan will win the Kemen election if turkey survived the five years coming but i don't think they will survive the currency is dying the country is dying. Just yesterday, we just mentioned 18,000 laid off yesterday. This man is a madman, he's stupid. He's a dictator, but it's a stupid one. He think he is getting rid of his enemies. The fact he is unleashing them from any responsibility. When you are an employee for government and you don't like the president, you will stay, you will keep your mouth shut because you are afraid to lose your job. Now you lost your job. Uh, you see ISIS? ISIS. The real reason behind ISIS to, 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 to flourish is the stupid decision of the Shia government of, of Baghdad. They lay down all the Sunni from the army. All the Sunni, they lay them down from the army, from the police, from etc. And those people, they seek revenge. They are angry. And they found ISIS is the best place to go. 
Turkey is going to face a very ugly, disgusting tomorrow. Very, and count my words. Now, this is the phobia of Muhammad, as you see. Muhammad, he see the Jews even in the rats. He see them in the lizard. Muhammad, he see the evil in every woman. This is a phobia. Even Muhammad, he said, that women, she come in the image of a devil and she live in the image of the devil. Show you the hadith. The women advanced and retires in the shape of a devil. So when one of you sees a woman, he should come to his wife and do bang, bang. What is the purpose of this story? The fifth in Muhammad, a woman walk by. A woman walk by. Muhammad, he start looking at her ass, getting excited. I'm not the one saying the story, by the way. This is what it says in front of us. Let me show you the whole story. Hold on. Here we go. Read. Jabir said. Jabir said. The prophet saw a woman. So what? He saw a woman. So what if you see a woman? He saw a woman. So he entered upon Zainab, daughter of Jash. Jash in, in Arabic means donkey. This is the same girl who he steal her from his own son. You remember? When Muhammad he forced his son to divorce his wife so he can have her. This is Zainab, the girl. When Muhammad he entered the house of his son, he flirted with her while she is the wife of his own son, and he said to her, "Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you." Obviously, he is sleeping with her during the time she is married to his son. Here we will find that Muhammad he saw a woman walking by. So what the connection? Okay, a woman walk by. What this have to do with Zainab? No, it's not a woman walking by. Muhammad is staring at a woman, physical body, and he got excited. So he went to Zainab, and Zainab she was doing work. She is standing leather. So he had intercourse with her, and then he came out. So his friends are outside with him. They saw that woman. The only one get excited like a donkey. It is the Prophet peace upon him. So he went to his wife, did intercourse while his visitor is at home. I mean, look at this donkey. He have men in his house. In the yard of his house. He have visitors. What they do, those Arabs, they sit in the front of the house. It's a small village, you know. So they have like a, 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 a maid from mud. They, from dust, they made it like uh, like a couch, a little bit high, and they sit in it. And they, you know, visitors they come. So a woman walking by in the road, Muhammad he saw her. He left his visitors and he did go inside and had intercourse with Zainab, and then he came out. And now he's talking about what happened because it's very embarrassing that he what he did. So he want to give a reasoning for he being filthy. He said. When a woman, you when you see a woman, go and do your wife. Which means when you when a woman get you tempted and make you horny, go and do your wife as what I did. For a woman, she is advancing in the form of a devil. So Muhammad now is accusing the woman that she is the devil. What woman she did? She just walked by. He just the, the women did nothing wrong, she just walked by in the street. 
why she is the devil and you will see he's saying the women are the devil all women are the devil so go and do your wife so that will reveal his feeling so Muhammad now he have feeling for this women who walk in the front of him go and compare between this and the teaching of Jesus and you will know what I'm talking about this is what Jesus said if you see a woman you go and do this and the women now it's her fault God he made the women look like a woman <laughs> I mean guys if we if we live like animals act like animals then why we call ourselves a human if you see a woman and you cannot control yourself and you cannot see in her anything except sex it means this is the only thing you are thinking about you don't see a human being you are talking to you see just a sexual object and this is exactly what muhammad is about he made women she is evil first. This is the phobia of the women. The women. Muhammad, he said many things about women. And his phobia about them is beyond imagination. As an example, most of women, they will go to hell. Why? Why Muhammad he said they will go to hell one of the major reasons for Muhammad to prove that women they will go to hell because they have lack of intellect they have a deficiency in the brain and deficiency in the religion they have deficiency in the brain deficiency in religion and that is a reason to go to heaven have you ever heard of a stupid explanation more than this because if somebody have deficiency in the brain, that should be a reason for him not to go to hell. Not to hell. You know what I'm saying, guys? If somebody, let us say, God, he made him in a certain way. Let us say crazy. Why should go to hell? Do you understand me, uh, people? If I am born, it's like saying, the one is born blind, he should go to hell. But, but, but that's my fault, I'm born blind. Well, what 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 I did? She is born as a woman. Why well, she will go to hell? So Allah He made her born as a woman, and Muhammad saying they have deficiency in their brain and they have deficiency in their religion, and that will make them go to 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 hell. But He Allah He made them that. What is the deficiency in their in their uh, uh, wisdom? Is the Quran saying that two women are equal to one man to witness, which means you have half a brain? But this is not her fault if this is true. And by the way, this is absolutely a lie. Women, they have better memory than men, especially when it's come to details. Go, you and your wife, to a party. Come back from the dinner, and let us see who is going to describe what happened there. Your wife, she will describe whoever is sitting in the table, what they were wearing, what the rings, what the clothes. You yourself, you will not even remember the dish you ate. This is a phobia of Muhammad against women. Yet he want to have as many as he can of them. They are the devil. They are the shaitan. They are the evil. Eve is the source of evil in the world. If there is no, if no Eve, no woman will betray her husband. So why Muhammad? He have thirteen of them as as wives and unknown numbers of slaves for sex. This is the madness of Muhammad. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do. And if you like to help us in what we do, don't forget to, uh, to, to, uh, to give us support if you don't mind. Uh, again, I encourage people who they are reading my books, please don't forget to make a review in Amazon.com. It costs you no money. And the review, be honest, it, uh, be honest when you make it. Don't say it's wonderful if it's not. Uh, just say your mind. Uh, I'm so glad that's a lot of people. They, you know, uh, until now I have a very great feed about this book. People love it, and uh, uh, now I'm working on my uh, my new book. I hope by the time I come back to the state, uh, I will have the new book is done. Don't forget to make. Uh, 
a review of all my books you have them if you if you read them already the deception of Allah Quran and science and depth uh, the secret the prophet Arab in French uh, the German books Swedish uh, Dutch uh, don't forget to do a review because this is very important for others to know uh, about the quality and what is inside those books and don't forget please to refer the books we have for your friends as you see here we speak of knowledge we don't speak of speeches everything we speak about we show it we prove it we give reference and none of it actually this is how my books is my books is nothing but a huge number of reference in a great details and study so uh, uh, and, and the funny the Muslims always they say he's lying to you I mean, I mean what, what, how you can say to, to a person he is showing you what your prophet said this is what your prophet said how he is lying how that could be but because they have no answer and they cannot answer what they will say I never mention something unless I show it in the screen like sometimes you see me I said okay just today like as an example I said okay I don't like to mention something without showing it because talk is cheap you have to prove what you say otherwise anyone can say whatever you know your YouTube band in Germany what do you mean your YouTube in Belgium? I don't think so. I only talk trash. Why? Yeah, Ivan, I, I, I agree. Guys, I only talk trash because I read Quran and I read this. This is trash. Thank you. You just said the truth. Ivan is a Muslim. He said, I only talk trash. That's true. Look at this. Who in the world believe that women... have deficiency in their brain and they will go to hell because they have a period huh your mother she will go to hell because she have a period this is a trash talk this is the most stupid talk ever women they will go to hell because they have menstruation and this is deficiency of religion how in the world this man became a prophet for you this is deficiency in religion and the deficiency in intellect that they cannot be witness well you are the one who forbid them from witnessing <laughs> and let us say for the sake of argument if those two, two things are true this is the fault of who is the one who made them not them if Allah he made them with half a brain as the Muhammad is saying if Allah made them with ministration why they will go to hell this is how Allah he made them stupid but if you notice here all what Muhammad is saying to them scaring the hell of them he is making them give him money The whole point he is saying to them you have give it charity why because you will go to hell so what Muhammad he want from them he want them to pay to make a donation he want their gold and right away when Muhammad he said that those women they start taking off their rings and their necklace and their earring and they start giving it to Muhammad Let me show you. <clears throat> uh, where is the hadith? money the whole purpose of this is money 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 hmm. hmm. 
Shame on you. You are not a man enough to call me and prove me wrong. This is the shame. Shame on you, coward. Everything I say, I prove it. Here we go. Guys, read with me. Muhammad, he came to the women and he said, he walked to the women and he said to them, and he admonished them and asked them to give alms for most of them are the fuel of hell. What? Women are most of them the fuel of hell. Why? Why? A woman having dark spot in her cheek stood up and said, Why? So messenger of Allah, he said, For your grumble often and show in, 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 in gratitude to your spouse. And then after they heard that, because now he scared them, he told them, if you don't give it charity, you will go to hell. So what the women start doing? Look with me, read with me. And then they began to give alms out of their ornaments, such as their earrings and rings, which they throw in the clothes of Bilal. This is the whole idea. Muhammad, he saw those women wearing gold, bracelets, rings. He want them. How he can make them give the money? He walked to them. Why they will go to hell? Those are Muslim women. Those are Muslim women. What is the occasion? All of the women, they will go to hell. All of them, those, they will go to hell. Why? And how not to go to hell? Give me your rings. Give me your bracelet. Give me your necklace. Hey, girls, if you don't go, if you want, if you don't want to go to hell, donate to Muhammad the Prince. We have a look, we have a donation link there. We accept rings. Alhamdulillah. You see the scam? Do you see the scam? What will make those women now go to heaven is what if the rings they gave. Read it. What Muhammad he want them to do exactly? Did he say pray? No. Did he say repent? No. He said give alms. What is the reason we need to go give alms? For most of them are the fuel of hell. What? So are you saying to me we can bribe God? Yes, you can bribe God. Muhammad is the God. You give him your rings, you give him your necklace, now you are fine. Have you ever heard of such a cult like this? Any Abdul? So today we wanted to talk about the phobia. This topic is really big, but Islam is the region of phobia. The Muslims, they have a phobia from the cross. They have a phobia from the Bible. In Saudi Arabia, until now, you cannot allow it. You are not allowed to carry a single line of the Bible with you. You can't wear a cross. You can't say our speech or talk about Jesus. This is the phobia. It's not us. They are the one who have the phobia. If somebody convert to Christianity, they chase him, they kill him, they crucify him now in Saudi Arabia. If somebody leave Islam, became an atheist, he will be killed. This is the phobia. If somebody speak a word about Muhammad, this is the phobia, they will kill him. Behead those who insult the Prophet. And you are talking about the phobia. You filthy idiot in the media. Keep talking about the phobia. You are the one who have a phobia. Hypocrites. We cannot go in the airplane unless we check for two hours in security. Is that because of a phobia or because of the dangers of Islam? Hypocrites. Me as an Arab, wherever I go, I am a suspect of being a terrorist for no guilt except being an Arab. Who, who is the one who have a phobia? They say they don't have a phobia, but they have. They have a madness, actually. They are scared to death from this cult. This is the truth. But they say we are the one who have a phobia. We are the one who expose it, have the phobia. They are the one who truly are scared. Trump, he banned six countries from coming to USA. This is a lie. It was Obama. Oh, Trump, he have a phobia. When Obama, he signed the same order, he was not a phobia person. Filthy cowards.
everything for them is upside down. When the Muslims kill the gays and the lesbian, they don't say the Muslims have a phobia of gays and lesbian. The phobia of pork, the phobia of halal food, the phobia of a church, the phobia of Jewish, the phobia of a Jewish hat, the phobia of a cross, all of this phobia, the Muslim, they cannot even they start their day without cursing us. Do you know that the Muslim every day, he start his day by cursing the Christians and the Jews? Yes, this is their prayer. Al-Fatiha. Five times they prayed. Five times they prayed. What the prayer says. Read with me. Chapter 1, have first seven verses. Oh, why I'm here in recitation, I'm not sure. All right. Five times they say to Allah, Oh Allah, don't make us the same as the one. Who they are lost, which means the Christians, and the one who they are cursed, and which is the Jews. Five times a day. Who is the one who have a phobia? The first thing in the morning, before he clean his ass, he have to curse you. Read it. What does that mean? Huh? Please, pray Allah, please, don't make us the same as the lost Christians, namely the Jews. They are the ones cursed, the ones that are led astray, and the Christians. Meaning implied by this supplication that it's guided ones or neither the Jews or the Christians, and Allah don't make us like them. Please, Allah, don't make us like the Christians or the Jews. You wish. You wish to be like the Christians and the Jews. If no Christians and no Jews, you have no electricity, you have no water, you have no internet, you have no phone, you have no cars, you have you have no airplane, and you have no medicine. If not pigs, even pigs is saving your life. Number one reason for insulin is pigs. Why must you take insulin? Hypocrites. 90% of lips steak is made from pigs. Hawaii Muslims are number one buyers for lips steak. Do you kiss a wife or you kiss a pig? Who is the one have the phobia? A Muslim, he cannot take you as a friend. Why? Because he have a phobia. It's forbidden for Islam to have a friend he is a Christian or a Jew. It's not us who have a phobia. I have no problem to take anyone as a friend. Why not? If a person is a good person, is a good person. Oh, who you believe? Take not the Jews and the Christians as the friends. What? Why? 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 What happened exactly? Oh, because we have a phobia. We are Muslims. We cannot take you as a friend. So somebody of you will say, oh, I have a Muslim friend. You have no Muslim friend. I was calling the Turkish guy for 20 minutes, my friend, but I know he don't believe that I'm his friend and he will never take me as a friend. I'm just using a, you know, uh, a nice word, but it's meaningless because I know Muslims will never take me as a friend. Why? Because this is the origin of the phobia. All those verses in front of us speaking that a Muslim cannot take anyone is not a Muslim as a friend. Chapter 3, verse 28. All non Muslims are enemies. You cannot take them as a friend. You cannot. Let not the believers take for a friend of the helpers of the unbelievers. Period. Why? Because they have a phobia. Let us read here. 
all those verses we are showing you is about the same thing here chapter 4 verse 144 Allah giving warning for the Muslims if you take non Muslims as a friend you better know what will happen to you Oh, who you believe do not take the unbelievers for friends neither uh, uh, rather than the believers do you desire that you should give to Allah a manifest proof against yourself do you want Allah to punish you to prove it that you should not do that phobia if somebody is a Hindu and he want to be my friend what the problem no we have a Muslim phobia he cannot he's a Hindu and yet they are the one who accuse us that we have a phobia chapter 5 verse 51 oh you believer okay take not the Jews and the Christians for friends or protectors for they are friends to each other and even if any of you he take them as a friend he is one of them and he's unjust is what he's one of them if a Muslim he take us as a friend and he mean it he is out of Islam who is the one have a phobia yeah Abdullah who is holding you don't tell me I want to call call I mean you want to call who's holding you yes Abdullah yeah I was actually having a hard time downloading Skype I was unable to no problem sign in what do you want to say to us Abdullah uh, well <laughs> You're telling that Prophet Muhammad was racist because he said, uh, uh, like you mentioned the hadith referring to black dogs as a devil, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how does that in any way suggest that black people are destined for hell? Well, we can show you a different hadith if this one will not help. What about this one? What about this one? Hold on. What about what about this one? Read read with me in the screen. Read with me in the screen. <clears throat> what do you say about this one? All right. What is your comment? Read it for me. I'm listening. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm a little confused. Wait a second. Read for me the hadith. You said that the hadith about dogs is not enough to prove that this is about racism. And I'm providing you different hadith now to prove it. Read this hadith for me. All right, all right. Allah's messenger, <laughs> peace be upon him, said Allah created Adam when he had to create him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white offspring, as it were the as as if they were white ants. He struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black offspring as if they were charcoal. He, he then said to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I do not mind. Then he said to those who had been emitted from his left shoulder, they are for hell and I do not mind. Hmm. So what do you think? Well, is it from a trustful source? Uh, this is the story now. The second we mention something, it's a, a Tirmidhi. Yeah, this is a, a Tirmidhi. is a Sahih book. No, not all quotes come from reliable ah, sources. Not I would all, like to yeah. Any, so why it is the, any, why it is in a book of a scholar? His name is a Tirmidhi. Ah, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on. Why it is in a book which is a scholar, Muslim scholar book, it's called Sahih. The Sahih are six books. One of them is a Tirmidhi. Yeah, but okay. Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, and Sunan Abu Dawood are more reliable. Ah, well, so it's up to you now. You take whatever you like. Okay, whatever you like. Okay, so now what we will do? We dump all this yeah. book in the garbage. Okay, if I find you something similar in Sahih al Bukhari, you will dump Sahih al Bukhari? Is Sahih al Bukhari? Well, let is, oh, oh, let right, me ask right, you a question. Let's for a second. I, is, is let's a, a, do you a agree second. with everything in Sahih al Bukhari? Yes or no? Uh, what 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 do you say? Do you agree with everything in Sahih al Bukhari? It's not like that. Some hadiths were fabricated. Ah, some hadith are fabricated. Exactly. So here we go. Anything, guys. It doesn't matter what the book you give them. It doesn't matter. A second ago he said Sahih al Bukhari. Now we say to him Sahih al Bukhari. He said no. The, the, because he knew we can show things from Sahih al Bukhari, which is ugly. And then he will say I don't accept it because this is fabricated. So the, right, what, you are, to to me, what you are saying to me, what you are saying to me is very important. Listen, listen. What you are saying to me is very important. You are saying to me, Islam have no 
any authentic sources. Are you saying that? No, I'm not saying that. So what is the authentic source of Islam? I'll come to that, but let me respond to the uh, where is the authentic where is the authentic source resource of Islam where we can find it. So here Bukhari have have, have bad the stuff you say, source. huh? Which the book? Which which source book source is Sah which, which books are the one is guaranteed for you as a Muslim to to learn from? The Quran. The Quran. And okay, show uh, me in the Quran. Show me in the Quran the punishment of rape. No, not. You see, if, if 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 everything was mentioned in the Quran, it would have been a very very lengthy book. Uh, some things are also mentioned in the hadith. So if this uh, if a hadith is in a plenty of books, if the hadith is in a plenty of books, this is a reason for you to accept it. What? If a hadith is mean? mentioned in many books, this is a reason for you to accept it. Well, I have to admit that in any case. What? I have to accept that if it's reliable, you know. How how you know it's reliable? I mean, you've been in the time of Muhammad. You are there. You were witnessing. How you know? I guess there's a, a textual criticism of hadith. Okay, let they, me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. If the hadith, if the Muslims agree that the hadith is sahih, hmm. do you agree with it? If the only Muslim says that this yeah. is Sahih, do you agree with it? Okay, here we go. In front of us, it says, the Messenger of Allah said, if we're not the dogs, we're part of nations among the nation, then I would order to that all of them to be killed. So kill every one of them that is a black. Do you accept this hadith? Well, dogs created a problem back then. They my friend, he is not talking way. about dogs making the problems. He's talking about specific dogs because of the color black. Any animal which is totally black, kill it. Read it. He didn't say yeah, the one who's biting you. He didn't say the one is bar barking. He, he's not saying. He's saying. But, but, kill. but you know that later on he came with the restriction not to kill the shepherd uh, after dogs. people complain this is because of complaining in the beginning as you see he said he hate dogs read with me if not if it, it, it were not that dogs were part of nations among the nations then i would order to kill them all he hate all dogs and he did this is what he did he killed all the dogs but when people they start complaining because those people they have animals they need the dogs to guard them this is a stupid decision. So they he start, you know, people they start saying, "What is that? How we can live without dogs? We live in the desert." So then he changed his mind, and then he said, "Okay, kill the black dogs." Now, why we want to kill the black dog? Explain to us. Black dogs. Hmm. I'm telling you, they they would cause problem to the local people. That's why. I, so there is the black dogs why. only cause the problems. Now you're going to ask that if red dogs were not causing problem or if the yellow dogs were not yeah. causing problem. Yeah, so why the black dogs? It's the question. Why the black dogs? Uh, it might be that they were more likely to attack you. They are what? It might be that they were more likely to attack you. My they friend, more, my friend, uh, why why we not why wanna play why we wanna play this game? Your prophet said the reason. He said because the black dog is the devil. He didn't say because they attack you. Did he say that? No, in this particular hadith, he didn't. But they are there are others as well. Show me the other. one. Show me the one. It says that the black dogs attack you. I challenge you. Uh, I, I have to search that. Ah, you have to search. I will give you 10 years. Is that fine? <laughs> it's not 15 like that. years. No, 20 me, years. Let, 20 years. Are we going to meet in 20 years and they will give me the hadith? No, you see, this this that. video, my friend, this video is going to be posted autom automatically in YouTube. I want you to pause for me. I will give you 10 weeks from now, 10 years. Pause for me the hadith where it says that the blog, the black dogs attack people. I want to see it. I want to learn from you. Okay, already I'm mm. searching. If I now, find it, I'll now, listen, listen, listen. So what distinguished the black dog from the yellow dog? Muhammad, he said, it's the devil. He didn't say he bite more. Do you see it? <laughs> Correct? <laughs> Yes. Okay. Why he is the devil? Uh, you mean why are black dogs associated with devil? It's not. He is not associating. He is saying he is the devil. He did not associate it. He said he is the devil. That's okay. why you need to kill it. Black dog is the devil. Yes. 
no but uh, it, it depends on how, what devil is like my friend in arabic in arabic it says shaitan shaitan you know what shaitan mean don't tell me depend what the devil is it does not even use the word uh, devil no. it says shaitan satan he is satan al kalb al aswad shaitan he didn't say even a devil this is a false translation he named him as satan <coughs> so why he is satan and why we need to kill him Give me, well, give me a legitimate reason for the dog, which is a black only, not the red dog, not the yellow dog, to be killed for he is shaitan. Why he is shaitan? And what is the proof? What I think is that dark color is associated with evil in general sense, like darkness. Hmm. That's why he might have said. Okay, let me ask you. Is it true in the judgment day Allah will make all Muslims white? Yeah, I've, I've seen, I've seen you. Okay, so what do you say, what do you say about that? Allah will make all Muslims black. Uh, sorry, white. Uh, what I believe that by white it means pure, pure from sin. Hmm. But this, it doesn't say that. It says so, your face will turn white. It doesn't say pure so, or pure. Uh, yeah, but you see, I, I posted a comment in the live chat. Hmm. Like, uh, there is a metaphorical sense and there is a literal sense too simultaneously. For example. Uh, I would like to elaborate this in a way uh, the whiteness indicates purity and it also makes it distinguish distinguishable from mm. sin uh, those people who will be turned white uh, will be distinguished from black peoples which uh, which are delved into sin so simultaneously it in uh, it is in a metaphorical sense and a literal sense too mm. okay but you know, the, uh, like when when like when it, it says when it says that, listen 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 in the story it says that there's a beast will hit you in your face, and this face is not metaphorical, and it's going to use a physical stick of I'm Moses. saying I'm saying there's two. Yeah. So uh, so where is the metaphorical? The why point. why are you okay? You, you, let, let us point. let us do this. Let us do this. Who is the scholar? He said this is metaphorical. There might be none. Ah, be none. so all Muslim scholars, scholars. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you are saying Muslim scholars don't take it as something metaphorical. Only you to defend Islam, you say it's metaphorical. No, it's not like that. I so I, so, so I name for me. Let us go back to zero. Me. Then name for me the scholar who say this is metaphorical. All I'm saying is that I don't know. Don't tell me I don't know. I mean, you scholars. are the Muslim calling me to convince me of something. And now I'm showing you your scholar saying that this is not metaphorical. This is real. So why you are coming with something is not there. Are you saying you know what the Quran meant more than the scholars? No, I'm not saying that. So why Ibn Kathir is saying? Uh, Do you think Ibn Kathir? Uh, let me, let, 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 us be, let us be honest. Uh, uh, Mr. I don't know what's your name. What's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad. Muhammad do you think Do you think uh, Ibn Kathir is a donkey? No, I don't. Think do you think that. he's a stupid? No. Do you think he don't speak good Arabic? No, he does speak Arabic. He's an Arab, no. So he's a he's yeah. a Ibn Kathir. So so why he's saying this? Uh, this uh, what you're presenting on the screen? Yeah. Why Why he's saying that? Why why it come to his mind that this is what is going to happen this is what it's meant? So how does is this in any way is a racist? Like because all the believers will be white, all these believers will be black. Uh wait a second. Hey, hey, let me uh, let me give you another example. For uh, example, uh, in Islam. We are mm. ordered to shake hands with the right hand and not and to enter doors with the right foot. Does this mean that left-handed people are cursed? Of course not. Same thing yes. with black or African yes. people. Yes, your prophet Islam he said. No okay, no, them. no. Your prophet said that the one who eat with the left hand, shaitan, he will share with him. He's cursed. If you share with shaitan, you are cursed. I can show you the verse from the Quran. Is it All true? Right. Is it true? Is it true that if you eat with your left hand? Shaitan, he shared with you, yes or no? I've not read that hadith, so I can't say it might be true. No, I'm asking you, you as a Muslim, you did not learn anything like this? 
No, I was not told that. So you are allowed. I to was eat. told not to eat. I was told not to eat with my left hand, but I was not. No, told no. I'm that. asking you. What was the? Did they teach you? That. Did they, they teach you? Uh, that yeah. eating with the left hand is haram. Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Why? Is that because Muhammad have a phobia? No, it's because the devil eats with his left ah, hand. Ah, like so okay, it was the devil eat with his left hand. So your prophet is saying that if you eat with the left hand, you are devil too. Not exactly, but you're uh, you're emulating him if you're uh -huh. eating with your left hand. Well, we never saw the devil anyway, and who care? God, He created us with two hands. So why would I use only one for for? Did did God say that, or Muhammad came in with a story which is funny? No, the God must have said to Muhammad. Let me ask you: Do sh do Shaitan kiss? I don't know. Okay, do Shaitan take a nap? <laughs> Inside the nose, you mean? No, no, I'm not talking about this. According to your prophet. That he don't take a nap, not sleep. He sleep, but he don't take a nap. Like you know, uh, you know, na na the nap I'm talking about, like afternoon. I, I know, I know. Okay, so why your prophet saying that uh, uh, take a nap afternoon because shaitan he don't do that? Why? Why I have to do the opposite from shaitan? What does that mean? What me taking a nap because have to do? Shaitan is the devil. You cannot. My friend, what this have to do? I mean, I'm I'm going to be better now because I take a nap afternoon. What does this mean? Shaitan don't take a nap afternoon. Where Muhammad getting this from? We can find the hadith. from God, huh? Prophet of God, what, what, prophet. where is where is God? He said that. And not not everything are mentioned in the hadith, but some things are taken as pres presumptuous because, in order to obey Him, we need to accept that as true. Because if we deny that, then how can we accept but, Him? But but this but this is mean that this is mean that Muhammad is fabricating stories because where he got this from. No, 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 it does not mean that. How okay, do you, how do you, you say heard that? The, your prophet saying that if you don't say a prayer before you have sex, shaitan will wrap himself around your penis, yes or no? I don't know, but he might have said that. So okay, so that. he no. said that, not might, don't tell me might, that will make me angry. Either you say he said or you say <laughs> he might. If you say he might, I don't know. No, you have to say yes, otherwise, you are to force me to make you read it. <laughs> So okay, now, Shaitan, <laughs> do you really believe your prophet when he said that Shaitan he wrap himself around the penis of a man if you don't pray to Allah before sex? Yes or no? I you, have to say yes because okay, okay, I don't know. Okay, but Muhammad, guys, did, did, did Mr. Muhammad say I have to say yes? He said yes, right? Okay, so now if you don't have a prayer before you have sex with your wife, Shaitan will have intercourse with you with your wife. And he will make your son the son of the shaitan. Do you agree? No. But he's just your prophet, he said. But how does that mean that the son which will be born would yes, be the son of Satan? Yes, yes, yes. This is what your prophet said. Are you saying he's lying? <laughs> Are you saying, just say it. Are you saying that whoever believes in this is a liar? Say it. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, so you believe in it now. Say yes. No, I don't. You don't? <laughs> Do you believe or you don't? I don't like so so, Muhammad. I like straight answers. So, do you believe in what Muhammad said that Shaitan will sleep with you and he will share with you with your children, which means he will have kids from you, from your wife? Uh, how how, do, how does that imply that he will, uh, the kid which will be born? Is, would don't ask me, ask your prophet. I'm asking you, if your prophet said that, are you willing to say he's stupid? No, why would I? Say you just that? said that because you said how does imply? Yeah, I'm saying how does this imply? So why your prophet so saying? That? So why your prophet saying that? Uh, you need to show me the hadith now. Okay, I want to show you. Uh, if I show you a weak hadith, is that accepted? Uh, weak hadith like day one. But, yeah, you don't like it. You don't. Is that, is that accepted no, or I don't not? Like that. Okay, because it's it's coming from the Quran. So this is the da'if hadith from the Quran. Guys, he said if it's da'if, he will not accept it. Let us see how we will play with this one. This is Quran, my friend. <laughs> Read with me. Actually, I'm suffering from cold. That's why I'm coughing. My friend, drink again. camel urine. It's the best. وَشَارِكَهُمْ فِي الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَوْلَادِ Do you see it? Do you want me to show you the interpretation for this verse? 
yeah in English what is the interpretation for this verse do you know al wa wa hum what is that is that Arabic supposedly yeah I don't, I don't know this is sound like uh, gibberish I'm not a native Arabic speaker no neither mm. I speak English properly mm. okay so what do you say about this verse let me read the interpretation do you want Ibn Kathir or you want uh... Hold on, let Ibn me show Kathir you. Would be fine. Ibn Kathir would be fine. Okay. Let us see Ibn Kathir. <coughs> Where is Ibn Kathir? Okay. But Abni Kathir, a second ago, he spoke about white and black. You did not accept him. So what we will do now? No. So you will, you will, you will pick up and choose. That, so now, if Abni Kathir, if Abni Kathir is saying something you like, you will, you, you will agree. Do you promise me you will agree? No, it's not like that. Ah, it's not like that. It's not like that. Ah, all right, all right. I see. You have to be consistent, right? Uh huh. Consistent. All right. Hmm. Mm. Okay. <coughs> All of this is about the story. Read with me carefully. And you are the one who chose Abdikathir. When one of you wants to have intercourse with his wives, let him say, In the name of Allah, O oh Allah keeps us away from shaitan. And yeah. keep keep shaitan away from what you bestow, bestow on us, children's between two bracket the children's. Then if the child is decree, decree, uh, decree for them from that, the shaitan will never harm him. Do you see it? Is that metaphorical? No, it's not. It's not metaphorical. But where mm -hmm. does it say that the child would, if born, but uh, if the person not said Bismillah Rahman Rahim, would be of Satan? Mm -hmm. Let me show you. Where does it say that? In Ibn Kathir, don't go to other <laughs> interpreters. Oh, that, oh, that only Ibn Kathir. Only, huh? Yeah, that would be fine. Oh, okay. <coughs> Let's see. I'm just trying. You don't. You don't know your Arabic, right? Uh. People are saying that I'm doing fake sickness. Sam. But before that, why don't you come to the first study that you referred? Okay. Hold on, let me show you. That Adam one. All right. Whoever wants to see Satan, let him take a look at. All right, I found you. Something you will like. Wait a second, let me turn my chat. Yeah. 
You're having a hard time finding that, right? Oh, no, not me. Keep dreaming. Here we go. Read with me. Mm. Uh, which source is this? Read with me, read. This is a fatwa and reported for you the reference of the Muslims. I will give you the link so you can you can check it out. The number of the fatwa. No, but uh, what sources are they using? They are using many books in the same time. All of them that are tafsir. And this is Ibn Abbas. doesn't matter what source because this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet, who is mentioned by all tafsir. Read with me carefully. It says, Waruya and Jafar reported by... Hold on. Re reported by Jafar uh, that... Uh, uh, the son of Muhammad that the shaitan he he is set around around the penis of the man if he did not say in the name of Allah and he will be doing the women with him and he is going to come inside her vagina the same as the man he come inside her and it was mentioned that the prophet said which mean that in the uh, uh, they said to the prophet who are they the Mugharibun? the word is strange for them he said those who the, the genies were shaitan share with them their children which mean have sex with their wives and it's mentioned by ibn abbas he said that my wife she woke up and she found in her vagina a flame of fire he said that because of she is having sex with the genie do you see it or not yeah i saw that okay what, what do you say does it say that the child would this is the shaitan having sex with you. This one you need to, to, to make the prayer. He's saying, why we need to make the prayer? Why? The prophet said, pray before you have sex. Why? Because if you don't do that, shaitan will wrap himself around the penis of the Muslim man and he will be doing wife and he will leave fire there because his penis is fiery. You know, shaitan, so his penis is not you, like yours. He shoot fire for real. Of Satan, not... Even even here, there's a real Muslim. Muslim, she she's witnessing that she woke up in the morning and she find she found fire in her vagina. And absolutely, this is a true story. What do you say? Are you going to say Ibn Abbas is a liar? And remember, this is the cousin what of Muhammad. What sources are you using? Here we go. This is here. He's quoting. Uh, uh, this is from Tafsir Al Baghawi, and this is the same chapter we uh, are mentioning. The same chapter we is are this mentioning. Is reliable? Yes. This is fatwa. This is fatwa number. I've never heard of My it. friend, this is a fatwa number. Read with me. Fatwa number. Let me give you the link. I will give you the link in your Skype. No, I believe you. Uh, no, no, no. Go but search. You can give me. Uh, no, I, no I want you to search. I want you to make a video about it, my friend. All right. I want you to tell all your friends about it, about what happened here. I, w I want you to show Christian Prince's line. You know, this is why I'm giving you the link. Here we go. And this is, can be found in many, in tons of books. Tons of books. It's not a place or, you know, two. I, or... got, I got that. I got that. Right. So this is what you Muslims believe that shaitan, this is not metaphorical. But the Muslims today, because they notice how stupid those statements are. So what they do, they play the game of metaphorical. Anything, they became metaphorical. This is not metaphorical. Never been metaphorical for 1400 years. But today, because Muslims became more educated, they go to school, they go to university. So now we cannot accept this garbage. We have to say it's a metaphorical. This is the truth, my friend. Tafsir al Khatib is stating all that. Ma'ali right, Mutanzir, look how many tafsir. Look, all those tafsir. Al Bab fi Ulum al Kitab, Al Mosu al Shamila, Tafsir al Khazan, Tafsir al Baghawi. Let me continue. All the tafsirs are quoting the same thing. But now, suddenly, you Muslims, you are saying, this is the tafsir, uh, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And look here what it says Ibn Abbas said that uh, actually you know what if you want to read more about this I advise you to get my book did you have my book the last no, one I don't go 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 to get it man you are missing a lot you will learn about your religion things you never heard before all of it coming from authentic source and you will see all the source mentioning page number chapter number everything go get my book because there I'm giving you all right all the details and here you see look this is the official government website of the kingdom of, of, of saudi arabia let me show you the, the the title there do you see the title in the top do you see the address the web address yes. quran.ksu.education.sa no. saudi arabia do you see it <coughs> is it showing now 
yes yes all right now if we go down here read carefully with me this is to explain the same verse we are reading Ibn Abbas he said in the Imra'ati is taiqadat fi farjiha shu'latun min nar Ibn Abbas he said my wife she woke up and in her vagina she have a fire and that because she have sex with the genie and then he continued look it says uh when Ibl when iblis when iblis the father of satan he went out to the to the ground he said oh oh lord oh allah you you kick me out of heaven huh give me give me a chance to to share adam with his children so he said oh, to okay so this is by permission of allah shaitan he can have sex with you with your wife i mean amazing god and then he said to him etc so this is what he what 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 the quran is saying and this is what islamic interpretation is saying but you muslims so what does this prove in any way a proof of madness do you really believe shaitan sleep with your wife be honest with me I mean, I have to, even if I didn't know about that. Uh, don't don't, don't tell me I have to. Tell me either is that convincing for you or you have to? Convincing, there's a lot of things in religion which might no, uh, no, turn your head No, because around. when you believe, either you are convinced or not. If you, if you, if you don't believe, it's me, you are not a believer. A person who believes... No, it's not like that. No, it's like that. A believer is somebody he believes. All right. So you don't believe. You are saying it's not convincing. Correct, guys. If somebody I said, didn't is, you said I that, didn't you, you said, you said, said, you said a lot of things in religion is not convincing. So either you convince or you I, are not I'm, convinced. I'm general, I, it was a general, generalized statement, which is true for every religion. Some and, and, no, I'm talking about your religion, and I, you know that. I'm not talking about you believing my belief. No, talking about you. So you are talking to yourself about yourself. So it's not everything in Islam is convincing. Is what you said. Kind of. Okay, so you don't believe you are not a Muslim. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you, my friend. Anyway, we uh, our time is up. Thank you, uh, Mr. Muhammad, for calling. Maybe you can call me a second but time. But you did not. Uh, uh, I I actually was I actually did not say what I wanted to say. It's okay. Next time, because you know my time is up. It's almost eight o'clock here for me, and I'm already for four hours here. So. Uh, right. You can call me next time, no problem, my friend. I will come anytime. Right. I will come all Muslims who they are polite. They don't say a bad language to call me anytime. And uh, I'm not speaking against you, Muhammad. I'm trying to help you. Nothing personal. You do not know me. I do not know you, correct? Yes. Yeah. So, you know, I am not speaking against my people. I'm an Arab person. I don't hate them. Nobody hate, nobody hate his mother and his father and his parents. Nobody hate his brothers and sisters, right? So we don't hate anyone. Yeah. We are trying to help people. <laughs> This is going to be from God, and this is very racist. A dog is a black. Not only it's racist, it's stupid. It's a dog, a stupid dog. Why in the world we're going to kill a dog because it's black? Are you really going to shoot a dog because it's black? Be honest with me. <laughs> That's madness. That's madness. And that, 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 that is not a, 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 like a speech of somebody who has some intellect, not only... Even what kind of logic this logic is to say a dog he is notice, or to, or to kill a lizard when Adam was created no race or gender existed by him yeah but, but, every race and gender of mankind no How but no 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 when people? Adam and Eva created your prophet explain I showed you the hadith I showed you the hadith your God Allah he hit the shoulder of Adam the right shoulder and from there he provided there was no race no, like there no is. He, he, this is how the race is created, according to him. According to no, your prophet. How can African or black people be taken into the offensive consideration if they didn't even existed yet? No, my friend. It is quite obvious. No, 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 no. You see, you don't understand Islam at it all. It is quite obvious. Uh, you don't understand Islam. No. It's, uh, the black people, they are created since the creation of Adam. You are not reading, my friend. You are not reading. When Adam was created, Allah. He hit the shoulder of Adam, the right shoulder. And this is how he made the white people. So they are created already. And then he hit the left shoulders of Adam. Adam, not Nuh, not Muhammad, not you, not me. Adam, we are talking about the first man. So according to your prophet, the race, the division of race and black of white, created from the beginning, and this is the plan of Allah. The plan of Allah is that black go to hell, white go to heaven. And you are telling me this religion is not racist? 
you know so why would he create them in uh, why would he cre create them anyway if he wants to send them to hell because he's a crazy and, god why uh, he created you why it, he created it, it, no no it, let, it let, reminds let me of ask you let me ask you let me ask you why adam why adam was kicked out of heaven because he ate the fruit of the tree so uh, if you commit sin so you are saying to me because of his sin right yeah okay muhammad he said no <clears throat> Muhammad, uh, look, oh, uh, you're going to tell the uh, uh, fate that it's like yeah, 40,000 because this is his fate, yeah, his this, absolutely. This is his fate. This is not because he commits sin, uh, this is what Allah he planned for uh, him. So, you don't understand I've the scammer friend is responding to it. They say, mm -hmm. uh, fate is something or destiny is something, it's not what uh, because of fate. Uh, actually, uh, wait a second, because of what you do, destiny, destiny is written. My, not my, my friend my friend forget about that don't 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 waste your time here the story in front of you we spoke about adam i asked you do you think adam was kicked out of heaven because of why well, he's kicked out of uh, of heaven you said because of sin correct you said that a second ago yeah. okay here it's the opposite your prophet don't agree adam he said to uh, to musas do you blame me but musas blaming him for what blaming him for the sin which means he believed the same as you believe that because he commits sin, he's out of heaven. So what Adam he said to him, do you blame me for what Allah he wrote for and me 40, 40 years before? So no. you cannot blame me. Can we blame Adam for his sin? Yes or no? No, God knew what he was going to this do. This is not about knowing. No, 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 no. This is not a, don't play games, it's Muhammad. Like be honest. This is it's, not it's about, not no. He is do. blaming it's him. No, 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 no. This is not about God knowing. Don't play it's games, opposite, be honest. It's the opposite what it is you, not what about blaming for his knowing or not. He's saying to him, Do you be careful? Anyway? No, it says, Musa God said to Adam, would, uh, uh, Muhammad, you are not being honest. Musa said to Adam, Oh, Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. So, what Adam uh, uh, accusation that you are the one, the reason for us to go out of paradise? Adam, he said to him, do you blame me for something written for me? So, which means you can't blame me. Why he can't blame him? Tell me why. Musa is blaming for the sin. Adam saying you can't blame me for my sin. Why? Because Adam didn't know what he would do, but God knew what he would do. So no, he that. no, that's not what he's saying. And that's what he this did is not what he's no, eventually. no, that's not what he's saying. He's saying that this is what is written for uh, me. What is written for me? It's not my decision. Huh, what so, is written so, for so me? Why it's written? It's because that's what Adam would would do. That's what the choice no, of Adam. No, no. Oh, like, okay, like, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It would. It was written no, no, in the no, no. uh, uh, Muhammad, you are not being honest. Everybody is reading the hadith in front of us, and you are trying to defend something nobody can defend. You cannot, you cannot accuse Adam of sin because simply Adam saying, "Can you blame me for something written?" So you cannot blame me. He's blaming him about what? Blaming him about being sinner, not about God knowing, not knowing. He is not the whole conversation about not God knowing. The conversation is that because of you, you commit sin, and we are out of heaven. I get that I get that, but I'm I'm just telling you the reason behind that. No, Why that's not the reason, that? my friend. What what reason? The reason is in front of in front of us. You are the one no, who made I'm us. Saying, all I'm saying, God knew what Adam would do. If uh, no, your God uh, know nothing, my friend. Your God know nothing. We can prove it. But according to the Hadith, yes, Allah He knew. But not only He knew, He wrote His fate before. Fate, fate huh. is your destiny, so, which you will do. It's not what hold you on, will hold do. On, hold, on. What hold, you on, hold on, hold on, right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the Christians the Christians because of Allah want them to be Christians, or because a Christian they want to be Christian? Joy is there's free will. No, you will do and, what listen, you will do. I, I, I want, I want, I want, I want, an answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. I want an answer. Christians are Christians because Christians decide to be Christian or because Allah He want them to be Christian. Are you going to quote chapter four verse? Um, I did not quote anything for you yet. Did I? No. Hmm. So, um, what is the answer? Is we are Christians because we choose to be will. Christians? Free will? Where is the free yeah. will? Where is the free will? Where is the free will? What all is all the, the verses and anything you want. All the verses we are showing in the front of us. All the verses in the front of us. There's no free will. There's no free will in Islam. 
Do you know the hadith about the, the distance of a cubit between you and heaven? Do you know about it? No. Okay, let me show it to you then. Let us see the free will you are talking about, if it's real or not, or fiction. <coughs> Read this hadith with me, please. I cannot see that. Hold on, let me show it to you. Here we go. Go ahead, read. Allah's Messenger, the truthful. Where did it go? Allah's Apostle, the truthful and truly inspired, said, Each one of you collected in the womb of his mother 40 days and then turns into a clot for an equal period of 40 days and then turn, turns into a piece of flesh for a similar period of 40 days. And then Allah sends an angel and orders him to write four things, i.e., his provision, his age, and whether he will be of the wretched or the blessed in the heaven. Okay, and hold on, hold what? on. Who is going to decide if you will be rich or poor? Uh, God. Okay, is that the free will you are talking about? But, all right, I see. Hmm. He will write for you, everything will happen to your life as orders. His age, then so is his age, to him and his age, his provision, whether he will be a bad or good person. So where is the free will? So you mean to say... I'm not saying it's your prophet. Don't no tell me you mean, my friend. Don't tell me you mean. It's your prophet saying. Where is the free will? No, what I think is because what we would do is written in the destiny, not because... It's written in no, 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 read with me, that's what I read mean. with me. Is your age is part of your uh, free will? No, it's not okay. So, all of those are in one item, all of those are one item. You will be rich or poor, you will be good or bad, you will be a believer or disbeliever, all of them, and your age. So, all of this is written by Allah, He decides for you. Now, if we continue reading, we will see something more dangerous. He said. That then the soul is breathed into him by Allah and a person among you or a man he may do and read carefully with me please here he may do the deeds of the people of the fire till there is only a cubit or an arm breathe distance between him and the fire so there is a guy he is doing everything as against Islam until almost he is in the door of hellfire almost there there is a cubit which means like a, a, a you know less than 60 centimeter okay now i'm close to the hellfire but then that written which allah ordered the angels to write proceed and he does the deed of the people of paradise and he enter it where is the free will all right it's not but it shows the mercy of allah what? Where is the free will? It shows the mercy of Allah. That what shows? What shows? My, my friend, it says what is written. My friend, it says what is written by Allah will take over. It's not him changing. What is Allah written? So, but 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 we know that dua can change our destiny. My friend, this right? is not about dua. What are you? Do you see? He's saying there. He prayed to Allah. He repent. No, he's saying. No, it, it, this hadith does not say that. But there are others. Don't don't, don't go there. Don't go there. I have nothing to do. This is about destiny. Say that. This is about destiny. This is about destiny. It's in front of you. The guy is doing bad yeah, on his are. life. What what is it? What is new? What is new? What happened in this story in front of us? What is new? Did he turn to Islam? Did he became a person who pray? No. All what it says. But what is written? By Allah order by the angel will take over. It's not him. This is Allah order. It's not his decision. <laughs> this is what is written. The guy decision is to be filthy, as you see, all his life is doing the act of hellfire. But then what is written will take over. So in the beginning, that that there is the free will. 
but he go to heaven by the by the but not by the free will by the decision of Allah for Allah he wrote for him when he created him you go to heaven same again Muhammad you repeat the same story he said there's a person of you he will go to heaven read with me what else did, did read, read, read with me read me and he does okay <clears throat> read with me uh, and then he said and the man do the deeds of the paradise so this is different man now he do what he do the deeds of paradise people of paradise till there is only one a cubit or two between him and paradise okay until now he all this guy he's doing is the deed of paradise and then what that is written proceed what is written is written by whom by Allah proceed and he does he does what he does what is written you see all his life he is doing the opposite now Allah he wrote something and that thing is going to take over Allah will reformat you. Let me but show you. Let, let, let us. Uh, yeah, there is a reason. The reason is clear. There is no free will. What about this? Uh, let me ask you. If a child he he die, where he go? If a baby child, a Muslim child, he die, where he go? Uh, in general, he should go to heaven. But I know from your content that uh, Prophet Muhammad said he may or may not. Why? No, I don't know. It might be Allah's will. Ah, again, so there is no free will because if you go to heaven, you go to heaven because of your act or because you are because you commit no act. Why you go to heaven? So it's kind of like the Christian teaching salvation is a gift, you may receive it or may not. No, no don't, don't tell me this. Don't tell me this. This is I have nothing to do. Salvation is something you accept, you agree, you take it or you don't take it. This is what it means. You accept Jesus, you don't accept Jesus, it's your business. Here, this is a child, he's a baby. He did not accept God. He did not reject God. He have no idea what God is even even is. So why he will go to hell? What is the possibility to go to hell? Because of destiny. Muhammad he said because Allah he created for who in hell, and who is in paradise when they are in their mother line and, and their father uh, backbone. So there is no free will in Islam. It's written before you are born. He this is the child. This is a baby child. He is not even um, a month or two old. And Aisha, she is witnessing. She think Aisha that because he's a child, he will go to heaven. So she say, "Okay, look, this child, he's a bird from the birds of paradise, a prophet." Muhammad he said, "Don't be stupid. It might be the other other way. For Allah created for people of paradise and people of hell when they are in their father backbone, which is scientifically wrong too. So here, there's no free will again." All of this confirm, confirm the same story that when you are in the backbone of your father, Allah, He decide if you go to hell or not. It doesn't. It's not your sin. It's not a deed. It's a, it's a lie. The deed of not deed, a bad deed, good deed. It's a lie in Islam because, as you see, this is a child. He's born uh, 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 from a Muslim family. Not like we can't say he's born from a Christian family, so he will. Uh, and even Muhammad, he said every person is born as a Muslim. So even a child of a Christian family, according to Muhammad, is a Muslim. So why he will go to hell? Yeah, he must not go to hell, but but he's saying you might go. But he's saying you might go. So why? Simply because Muhammad, you do not know why. Because Allah, He decide already. It's not because there is. If you do this, you get that. No, in Islam, it's Islam is a stupid religion. It does not work this way. So the Quran and Muhammad's statement full of contradictions. Once he says those who do good deeds, they will go to heaven. And then he says the one who do good deeds, who care? At the end of the day, it's what Allah wrote for you is going to happen. What what this child did? Why this child will go to hell? No reason. Yeah. So obviously, it's what Allah he wrote for you. You pray, you don't pray, it doesn't matter. There is a distance of a cubit between you and heaven. Instead, you'll go to hell. And this is why he said, La amanu makra Allah. I cannot. I cannot. Trust the deception of Allah. That's why my book, my first book, is called The Deception of Allah. All right, Muhammad. Thank you very much, my friend, for yeah. calling. And let me hear from you again. Do some study for what I showed you and call me. Maybe you can get some answers. All right, my friend. All right. Thank okay, you. Take care. Much. Take care. All right. Thank you guys for being here with us uh, today. Uh, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to um, uh, help us 
uh, in what we do. And you can always contact me in Patreon. Uh, you can contact me in minds.com. Actually, in minds, I'm just posting. If you want to contact us better, either in Patreon or you contact me in Facebook. Uh, we do our best to reach to understanding. And I understand that the Muslims are trying to defend. It's not easy to listen to someone trying to prove to you that Muhammad is a madman. But my friend, everything in front of us is proving that. This is a statement in front of my face, this is a statement of a madman. Destroying everything Muhammad is saying. A child, he will go to hell. Why? Why? Where is justice? Where is justice? If we are seeking true God, then we need to seek God who, who, who come with justice. Where is justice? There's no justice. What is written by Allah will take over. Adam, we find that even Adam, he commit no sin. Adam, he was doing what Allah, he did. Even Shaitan, I can show it to you from the Quran. Shaitan, he did the order of Allah. Shaitan, he is a victim of Allah. And at the end of the day, shaitan is a Muslim too. Even shaitan convert to Islam. This is very confusing. And nothing there makes sense. The black dog is the devil. The lizard is the enemy of Allah. Women, they are half a brain. Women, half a brain. There are some women, they can make you, they can go, make you go crazy. Men are the one half a brain, not the women. Go and see it, what happened to men. Are you married? Go. She will make you wash dishes, do the laundry, do the shopping, and do everything. And you are telling me women have half a brain? You work like a donkey, you, you buy her a ring, you buy her a necklace. You buy, who's the donkey here? Who is the half a brain? Then women are the half a brain. I'm very convinced, seriously. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, for uh, for being with us. May the Lord bless you all. And I'm not speaking against the women, by the way. Don't make a, a party against me. But I'm saying some facts, you know. I mean, we have to be fair. And, you know, there is a smart person not smart gender you know there's man he can be stupid idiot and there's women can be the same but there's women they can be genius smart super smart and they can be silly stupid the same as many men this is have nothing to do with gender but you know the mentality of a human being is always a preset you know, like we have a preset mind and we are born of a culture and the culture teach us things since we are children that women are stupid. Okay. So I have to say what I heard. I heard they are stupid. I say they are stupid. But I'm not asking myself why. I saw stupid men. I can't even count their numbers. All those who go around the Kaaba are stupid. And the majority are men. Do you think God is there? Do you think really going seven, six times around the Kaaba will make you a, per a good person? Do you think kissing stones will make you close to God? Do you think throwing rocks at a place you think Shaitan Do you think really Shaitan lived there? This is madness. Do you think if you kill some Jews or some Christians, you go to heaven and God will give you versions? You have to be a stupid fool to believe in this garbage. What kind of God you need me to kill for him? Go and kill you for yourself if you are God. This God must be is not exist because he cannot kill a mosquito. He need me to kill the mosquito for him. If those are Christians, those Jews, those atheists, those pagans, those gays, those lesbians are the faith of the earth as Islam teach, okay, why Allah don't do it himself? Why he need me to kill? And what judgment day for then? Why we cannot live in peace? Why Islam don't thief, teach or let us live in peace?
the God who need fighters to fight for him, he is a fufu. He is a he is not exist. He's a joke. The Muslim they say to us that Allah is God. If he the Quran says, if Allah he wants something to happen, he say be is going to be. Okay, show me one thing Allah he said to be and was. Adam took him all day to finish Adam. What be and all was? To fix Muhammad, Muhammad he sent two angels to give him a surgery, two twice, plastic surgery to install a dish of wisdom and a dish of faith. Why Allah don't say be wisdom in the chest of Muhammad? Surgery? Are you serious? Plastic surgery? Stitches? Muhammad, he have a problem with his sex. Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. What is the God who say be is going to be? God go to the kitchen, make a dish of shish kebab. He sent it to the Prophet. And then the Prophet, he eat it with his daughter Fatima, which the Muslim claiming that she is his Fatima. So now Fatima, she have the power of 40 men in sex. This is madness. What is funny in the story that some story says that not only Muhammad he ate from the dish of the kebab which make him have the power of 40 men even Fatima she ate with him so now if Fatima she came to your room may the Lord have mercy on you Fatima she will finish you all over she will throw you in the bed and she will like ah. I'm not going to go and describe what will happen next she have the power of 40 men anyway guys thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and as i told you uh, i will try to make a broadcast this coming monday but i might not be able to do so uh, and when i am abroad if i could not make live broadcasting i will make short videos this is a promise but if i can do live broadcasting i will do it all right because the problem is the time will be different, so I cannot do it in this time for sure. This is not, no way I can do it in this time. So I will update you. If I can do live broadcasting, I will update you with the timing. And if not, then I will just pause videos until I come back to the state. Thank you, guys. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord, and Islam is a joke made by a false man for the foolish man. Are you the foolish man? That is your choice. Thank you. Take care.